of that just made it through? <laughs> All of it, Jack. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know why I like to try to do that. They literally got my laugh at Miss Storm's dark joke altogether. Damn it! Good. Hulk. Good. Whoa. <laughs> Every. Buddy. Guess what? We are here. We have arrived. Oh. Hello, everyone. I hope y'all are ready for another fantastic session of Digi Destiny. This game better be good. I thought playing Baldur's Gate 3 for this. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nick. Nick. Yeah. You should Hold introduce up. us all as if we're contestants on a dating show. Ah, okay. <laughs> Make well, up fun facts about us. Yes. Very well. Uh, I'll I'll start from the top end of uh, the way I have it in the. Well, actually, you know, I have to I have to start it via the the top end of how it's showing in the stream on here. So oh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, directly above me here. This contestant, while a little late to the show and programming on things, likes long walks on the beach, talking with their dog, and going to church. It's like a G. First step foot in a church in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I might catch fire if I did. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Our next contestant is a little accident prone. However, he's really into visual effects and, uh, sometimes making funny sounds on the computer. Not with his mouth, obviously, but with several, several files. It's Red Beast VFX. Miss me, assholes? <laughs> <laughs> That's me, Red Beast VFX. Step on the dice. Hi. <laughs> Someone of equivalent value to our previous contestant. You can full metal alchemist him, guys. You heard it here first. <laughs> well, I do have a fucked up left leg. Ladies oh, and fuck. I take it back. <laughs> it's Storm Sage. <laughs> yes, folks, you heard it right. I saved my brother's soul by crashing into a truck, fucking up my left leg. But unfortunately, I had to bind him into a suit of armor made out of his computer. Guys, I... Well, I... Am I in my computer? Okay. Yes. Question. Not the time to answer that. Our You're a golem contestant. of machine. <laughs> Our next contestant enjoys talking to himself for long extended periods of time. And uh, occasionally, you know, making uh, videos and things and whatnot. Uh, it's Coffin Jockey! <laughs> oh, that's the me one. Hello. Following that, we have someone whose entire existence means that if he's not here, this stream doesn't exist. It's a good boy, Pyro MG. I thought you were gonna say Grimjack. No. <laughs> <laughs> and last but certainly not least, uh, we we have a puddle that's currently melting in the room. I, I believe they're on the show. Uh, it's Grimjack. Good in another Jack. <laughs> that is amazing. Love it. <laughs> ten out of ten. Uh. Oh, and, those are our uh, contestants for the night. Last week, uh, our host, uh, the amazing Nick A of the VA. He likes long walks on the beach. He's a Leo. And uh, <laughs> most importantly, he is a Leo. M. So nice he had to say it twice. <laughs> he likes long walks on the beach. Freaking uh, sunsets also on the beach. Uh,. Caribbean drinks, also, on, also the on the beach. I don't think he the beach. <laughs> Fighting evil by moonlight on the beach. Winning love by daylight on the on beach. The beach. <laughs> All this still a sunset for some reason. <laughs> I'm never awake during the main part of the day. Only at sunset. I think we've confirmed that Nick is Ken from the Barbie movie, whose job <laughs> is beach. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it walks very off. difficult to schedule. Where do they live? <laughs> walks off the walks off set for a moment. Sublime. <laughs> <laughs> Where do they I still, live? I still uh, want to see that movie. Where do the Kens live? Also, oh, that's a very good question. You're Where good do we all that. live, really? <laughs> yeah, well, I live, and then fear. we just go ahead and dox all of us. <laughs> oh no, that's a problem. We live in your basement. Don't look. In your walls, but... in your hearts. <laughs> Master the way to carry is my name. <laughs> From Doxing Island. That's the second hallway. episode in a row that a Sniper King reference has been made. 
good. Kyle, it's too few. He, we need more. Kyle, when he takes aim, it's Jaden True. Ooh, cha la la lu. Good God. Uh, okay. Uh, so, news. Hi. Uh, except not exactly news first. I did want to say thank you to one uh, Sinbad for joining the Vandalize My Heart tier. Uh, I, were you already on it before? Or did you just make it to a two-month spree? I don't know. You had the badge for it, so I'm assuming you definitely have a two-month spree. Also, Christopher Ramos, thank you for being a Vandalize My Heart member for two months in a row. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been a members consecutively for two months. Appreciate it. And all the folks who are coming in, sticking it out for a month. We appreciate y'all, too. Thank you for all the gift subs that freaking Sinbad did out of the gate. We got 20 of them right there. We also have Fierce DD Link dropping in 10 memberships. Holy shiz. Dude, God, Link. The hue of time. You guys are freaking <laughs> amazing. Fitness with this stuff. Um, so, uh, news out of the front of the gate. Uh, I did want to just throw a couple of things out. One, if y'all don't know, I was just every once in a while I want to say thank you to our amazing moderator team. Uh, we have a lot of people who keep things in order here, both on this, on the server, the Smuck Squad servers, uh, Discord server, uh, at, uh, excuse me, uh, at, uh, exclamation point Discord. Uh, if y'all want to become a part of that, it's a fun little community we have. A lot of talk about Digi Destiny, a lot of talk about Smuck stuff, just a fun place to be. Uh, and they're also involved on one other kind of server, which will be talked about in... Now! No, I'm just kidding. Uh, when Cough and Jockey gets to the promo stuff. Uh, is there anything else worth news? Uh, uh, if you guys well, don't there... know, you can also uh, exclamation point wiki. And uh, we have a wiki it was created by Al Grief, and it's uh, basically the lore all archived and chronicled by y'all in the community. On uh, there, it might be, it might be worth saying. In case you guys didn't make it to the end of last stream, you mad lads did it. You made it to level five. So last stream, you did unlock the Sammy one shot. Way to go, guys! It is true. <laughs> We but where's Sammy crazy. one shot? Yeah, Oops. but where's Sammy one Where shot? In the world, that is, that is. is some news. Hey, Nick, uh, when's yeah. that happening? Uh, let's see. Let me check my schedule and things Never. Just, to, just to make sure on stuff, because I do have to do a little bit of writing. Uh, but uh, ah, there it is. Uh, the date for the Sam, uh, where Sammy one shot is. Uh, it's gonna be September second. So oh. next week, everybody. Yep. What the <laughs> fuck? That's way sooner than I thought it would be. Heck. I said I'm I had not free for that. Oh no! To it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, get look forward to that, guys. We're gonna have an off week of uh, regular Digi Destiny, but instead we'll have the one shot of Where's Sammy. Well, gosh dang! The so, power, yeah, the it's power that's gonna be just in your old hand. <clears throat> you made it happen, so there you get. That's gonna be the first time I have to make a short off a of off a session. I'm not there oh, for. Oh, that's fair. Miracle. And we're almost up to tier two. You know what, fudge it. Hey, here's Our today. Slash Sammy if y'all if y'all get us to tier three, then we'll we'll tell you we're proud of you. We'll tell you all we're proud of you, son we'll and or daughter and or non-binary child. We'll go to your your sports ball game in mm -hmm. Little League. People we'll, that attend your graduation. Yes. It won't Even happen, though it's but we'll tell you in it. the middle of the summer, we we'll attend your graduation. <laughs> If you don't yes. see us there, it just means you need to look harder. We will be appearing as force ghosts. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if we're not there physically, we will at least be there. In like, Listen if you if you look with your music. soul, if you look with your heart and not your eyes, you'll see us there and we'll all politely nod as we fade away. We'll all also look like uh, Hayden Christensen for some reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't know why. Uh, that's also, who. If, coincidentally, all of us are hating Christensen in our souls. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we look like, like when we astral project. Yeah, <laughs> if you like don't see us, you may, if you don't see us, you may a Chloe count just isn't high enough. It's yeah, you, it's you, like it's the Clifford claws. Like you know, Clifford the big red dog is only that big because his child loves him that much. So when your dog's not fifty feet tall, 
It's because you don't love them enough, and that's what? the rules for why you don't see our force ghosts at your graduation. Wait, why isn't if it's if it's uh, Mary Elizabeth's love that makes Clifford that big? Why aren't her parents giants? A great oh, question. Anyway. <laughs> the <laughs> lore has yet to delve into it. Is all I'll say. Unfortunately, no one's brave parents. enough to delve into that. <laughs> also, G-Man, thank you for being a two-month member of the Vandamaniacs. I don't know. what I, I have no idea what to call the actual people beyond the Vandom who are part of the Abridge Alliance memberships. I'm the just trying with Vandamaniacs right now. Understandable. The Vanguard? Oh, yeah! Yes! That's a good one. The Vanguard! Vanguards, hold the line! <laughs> hold your subline. <laughs> I think Appreciate that's good. Y'all. We'll go with that. So if you yes. are a member and continue to be a member, we will refer to you as the Vanguard. That's that's pretty cool. Hell yes. Yeah. I was gonna go to a panel and a bunch of dudes and almost gonna show up. God. <laughs> two monsters, you are ranked two Vanguard. <laughs> <laughs> oh the my prestige I levels game. just keep growing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh that's it. The holy vanguard. I believe we have a few more things to go through in the form of uh, our uh, how you guys can support us elsewise on things Yay. before we get into uh, the few donations trickling in and then getting to start the game. Correct. I'm going to go over membership tiers on Patreon and also Discord. Uh, the first tier is Patreon only. Is the one dollar schmuck a tier tier? Any uh, that's just giving us any amount of money anytime at all. We appreciate y'all. And because of that, you get a special role in the Discord server, and you get access to uh, stuff coming out on time. Normally, it doesn't get to do that. YouTube says no far too often. Uh, it, we don't get to put stuff that we make out nine times out of ten. And the stuff that we do put out doesn't get to stay up all the time. Uh, for instance, mm -hmm. some piece, which sadly didn't get to stay up. YouTube said no very firmly. Uh, so in addition to being able to see stuff on time, uh, you can also... See some piece. Uh, it's 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 there. It's on our Patreon, uh, and we can't really put it anywhere else. It can't go anywhere else on the internet. Toei said no. It's actually on uh, the, the 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 server Discord server uh, right now. Okay, too. that's fair. Yeah. Uh, so the it, was it would too get high. you. Well, I, was I, high, I'll yeah. I'll triple check. D does the one dollar tier on Patreon get you access on the server to it, or is it on the five dollar tier? I th think it does. I also think it does, but I guess we'll check. We'll triple check. Yeah. Uh, There's also uh, after that. something else up on the Patreon. Something digital. Yeah. That is... wanna, that's almost fully done. Heck yeah. Uh, there's the first seven minutes of uh, Digimon Tamers Abridged is on Patreon. So go check yeah, that out. Yeah. It's almost the whole thing. We're very close to having the whole thing up. Go check it out. Uh, hey, next up we have... Oh, yeah, it's good. Y'all did a great Let job. Let me know what you think of that one VFX. You know the one. You'll know the one when you see it. No. Uh, or you won't know the one, and weirdly it'll be way more complicated than all the ones you do see. Red Beast stuff. Uh, yeah. From there, uh, we have the $5 tier. That one gets you everything on the $1 tier. You also get access to server movie nights where uh, you can vote on what movies you want to watch and you can watch movies with us and we'll host a movie night. It'll be a good time. Sometimes a movie night might be a marathon stream where we marathon through our bridge series. Sometimes yeah. it might be one of the long list of movies that we began accumulating upon hearing how many movies y'all have yet to see. Uh, we have added the Cornetto trilogy. Will... Look, guys, I gotta be real. I heard some of you haven't seen The Princess Bride and I'm just... I'm not angry, but we're fixing that. <laughs> yes, we have to fix that, unfortunately. <laughs> Unacceptable. Uh, in addition to that, we also, just very recently, released the Schmucks Minecraft server. So if you have Minecraft and you're on the $5 and up tier, you can jump into our Minecraft server. Come hang I'm out. Hitting... Come pick out a plot. Maybe build a house. Figure out how it goes. Live your life. I think there's Digimon running around on that server. See how it goes. I've oh. had in, think, I've uh... had so many books filled with lore on that server. It doesn't have anything to do with Digi Destiny. It's just the lore of the server. Go out and find them all. You can believe find in what you. It, you can find what remains or what began of my house. So <laughs> when anyone wants to put that together while I'm gone, feel free oh, to Oh, did you not so. finish your house? Not in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> well, okay, uh, Nick, I'm building your house. Well, I, good. good. I, you have a start. Honestly, ha leaving it half finished is funnier. 
it's like Nick's house was first among all of them, and it, it's like <laughs> fallen into decay. <laughs> it's like some say he still haunts those halls. Also, somewhere <laughs> in the world right now, one it's there's a secret candy. hidden somewhere that I put. I won't tell you what it is. It'll it'll be hard to find. But the other I thing is, uh, there's a giant freaking Sammy, because there's a theme park being made called Sammy World. <laughs> Hell, oh, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> It's here very for cool. it. Can confirm. Hell yeah. From there, we have the $7 tier. $5 tier is also on the Discord. Uh, $7 tier is also on the Discord and Patreon. Uh, on the $7 tier, you get uh, all the stuff previously, plus you get to see stuff up to a week early. We can post stuff that we're working on early, and y'all can see it before anybody else does. It also really heavily supports us. It's it like Jumping on that tier really shows that you support the stuff that we make, the things that we do. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, thank you if you're on that tier. Uh, after that one, we got the $20 tier, which is also on the Discord. $20 tier gives you everything before it. Plus, also, your name shows up in the description of future videos that we make. So you can point at it and go like, look, look at it. I want you to look at it. Exactly. Uh, from there, we have the $50 Schmucketeer tier. On this one, your name goes at the end of the video. In the video itself, we make our editors edit your name in the video. It's a good time. You also get your name in the description and everything else before it. Uh, and then lastly, we have the $100 Schmucketeer tier, which uh, does not have a reward because we have no idea what to give you. You're, we're going to talk it out. We're going to see what we can do. Genie style. We're going to try to grant a wish. We'll see what we can make happen. Y'all are great. You want my kidney? You got it. We won't monkey's paw you on this. We promise. We, have, we have restarted uh, previous bridge series that were canceled long ago from someone on the $100 tier. We've started new abridged series we hadn't planned on doing, such as Haikyuu and Demon Slayer. Uh, we've sent people a bunch of exclusive stuff that we've made. We've made people like custom shirts. We've done all sorts of crazy things. And the most recent request that we got from the $100 tier was a Vanmon plushie. And we're figuring out how to make that right now with, uh, with an artist. And they're figuring out how to produce that. So we're figuring out the Vanmon tier. It's a good time. Uh, but yeah, that's that's our Patreon for the most part. And you can see the, the 5 7 and $20 tiers on the Discord server. It's so true. yeah, go check it out. Free show you. And thank you so much for the support. Yes, thank, thank you me. all so much for all, like, good lord. <laughs> the amount of support Honestly. we have for this, this series, as well as all the other stuff that we do, has been phenomenal and... Overwhelming, <laughs> to say the real. least. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep waking up and being like, is this the real life or is this just the fantasy? Or is this Fanta? And I look outside at my ocean view home where it's always sunset, <laughs> but the sea is never <laughs> orange, so it clearly Someone. can't be a fantasy. Someone's you don't saying. have a home. You're Ken from Barbie movie. You just have beach. <laughs> Fierce DD Link said, I also really want that Digitalica plushie. Excuse me, Digitalica shirt. Shirts are something being looked into. We've been uh, looking into shirts for so long. The sites themselves are giving us problems setting them up. Yeah. I'm, yeah. It's we, like we, trying we had... to find a way around. There are some things in the way. Every every site gives a new problem for why we don't just have Digi Destiny merch up yet. And each one has a different problem at a different point in time at a different point along the way of producing the shirts. So we're trying. We'll, we'll get them up someday. Well, uh, we're working on it. I think I think Topher just called my bluff. Yeah, he did. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't he did. looking at the chat. What happened? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, Topher, you fucking mad lad. Topher. I... <laughs> what do you do? Uh, okay. Okay. What, what happened? I was. Topher donated. <sighs> Okay, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that soon at enough. The, at the end of it, I will. I will all. I will dad talk you all. Yes. <laughs> no, you promised. I you had to deliver. At the, at the end. Promising. At the end. Before we start game, I will dad talk you all. I uh, speaking look of, at what you did. Speaking of dad talk, I want to like. There's there's that sentiment of like the kids say kids say the darndest things like kind of thing, and that's true. But kids also make parents say the darndest things. And while I was walking through a grocery store today. Uh, I heard a kid mumble something, and his dad, without looking down, without addressing, like, the kid at all in any way to, like, stop what he was doing, just kept walking with the kid, and said loudly enough that I could hear it, uh, 
Yeah, that is a big carrot. Good eye, son. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. really confidently, like, just super about, like, you did it. <laughs> like, had a lot Good of job, genuine son. pride in in the points. <laughs> like, good eye. Like, he's like he's about to snipe someone. Like, he's Thank able God. to spot an eagle from, like, flight. Like, it's, it's, it's incredible. Uh, good, good, those cataracts haven't set in. <laughs> I do the same thing with my niece, because she's, like, she's still a baby. She's just, every time she... He tries to tell us which one is which of the twins, or whether she gets it right or wrong. I'm just like, very good. Wow, you're so smart. So few people can get that right on the first try. You are smart. She hasn't gotten it right on the first try at all, ever. But Gaslight I want to help the trial. baby's confidence. Having a child is about, uh, you know, recreational gaslighting. Exactly. <laughs> you tell them there's a fairy that pays them for their teeth. You tell them there's a jolly fat man on the top of the planet. And, uh, you know, you tell them that you got it right between which one of the twins is who. Shall, uh, shall we figure uh, out uh, donations? Which twin is which? As we're going into donations, just to clarify, isn't every single one of us completely full on inspiration? Yeah, thanks to Topher from last week. <laughs> that we sounds right to me as yep. well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just read four donations then for this, that's, and we'll go real, real into it on the first break. That's completely fine. Which means you guys have until the first break to spend all of your tokens. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Yo, I'd like to make it on the brains check to figure out what the fuck. <laughs> uh, all right. First donation we have is thirty dollars from Botluck Productions. Botluck Production says, did not know session was so soon. Uh, curse you, Duskmon. Yeah, I got nothing. Nick points to you. You guys treat yourselves to, I don't know, Applebee's, Taco Bell, Dairy Queen. I don't know. Long week. Fair. Yo, we're going out <laughs> at been there. Con. I mean, I'll, I'll let you know this right now. Uh, and this is, this is my hot take of the stream. No one goes to Dairy Queen. You show up at Dairy Queen on a whim. You're driving mm -hmm. down the road and you go, oh, there's a Dairy Queen. That seems nice about now. Dairy Queen is the fast food equivalent of a liminal space where you <laughs> just kind of glitch through the geometry of the fast food area and end up there. And now you got to figure out what's what's up with your life. So when I went to Twins Fest earlier in August and there was a, a Dairy Queen just across from our hotel. And I don't know how, but we and a bunch of other twins just ended up there. Because like that's where we congregate, apparently. There, there was no before, there was no after, there was only Dairy Queen, and it was like, how did this happen? Yeah, my theory continues to be proven correct. <laughs> it's also got, like, liminal space energy of, like, this zone has special rules by which physics behave, because they take the thing that they give you and they flip it upside down real quick just to show you that doesn't fucking do anything, and then they hand it to you. Gravity <laughs> doesn't exist there. I love this description of Dairy Queen. I'm here for it. Is, is that you for it? You pay for air. Just, like, you're in my area, <laughs> and now you have to obey oh, my yes. rules. You pay to eat like air. Exactly. And Storm Swipes, like the psychic arc in Yu Yu Hakusho, it's like, you've entered my space. <laughs> I control this area. It's not even real ice cream. <laughs> it's so delicious. Dairy Queen, it's always considered real ice cream. I know, it's edible oil products. Mmm, byproduct. <laughs> I, I love how the next two donations feel like they tell a story. Uh oh. And I'm ready to tell that story with $10 that's, that's... from Christopher Ramos saying, Ayo, hey, hey, oh. Just showing some love again to. Wait, what the hell? Terriamon? How did you get here? Hey, no! Don't take that! Those are adversity tokens to someone! What do you mean the Terriamon cartel sends their regards? Oh, God, no! Explosion goes off. <laughs> Well, those would go to Terriermon's handler, but unfortunately... Well, they so would go God. to Terriermon, and then it would go... But instead, it would go to Grayson, but it can't go to Grayson. So it instead, goes it goes to the dawn of the Terriermon cartel, Van Mon. I was just gonna say, I think Red was cackling and didn't pick up his mic, but I put it to my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make another off this another bank called the Terriamon Cartel? No, I'm gonna build that. I'm, I'm gonna build that in the fucking server. <laughs> oh, God. Next donations from Alec Reef, who says two uh, two adversity tokens to Riot, and could I have Pyro speak in a Southern lawyer accent? The following. Oh boy. Okay. I want me. Want me. Do you need me to copy-paste it? You got it? 
a little bit of war. Mm -hmm. Need some water. Ah. Now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. Mm -hmm. My client, Terriamon, didn't rob the good Digimon of their bits. He merely redistributed for greater purposes, I say. Sure, he may have spent them on lavish items, but could you blame him? <laughs> you Your Honor, if the court finds Terriamon to be just a little guy, can you truly... Deem him guilty. <laughs> I love that the voice that you went with basically reminds me of the detective from Knives Out. That is exactly <laughs> what I was going for. It was it's between so that and Foghorn Leghorn. It's so <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Pyro, it's so stupid, it's brilliant. It's so dumb, it's brilliant. <laughs> no, it's just there is dumb. a fine line of what I think of when I'm given that like uh, southern lawyer accent got it there we go <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh you're better than me i was thinking armadillo man <laughs> i am but a simple prairie digimon <laughs> <laughs> all right last donation that i'll read here uh is autumn woodham who donated five dollars and says uh ma'am they're starting another stream already what are those crafty schmucks planning ready the donation cannons to whoever needs it uh, which is Vanmon. <laughs> Vanmon Van really him. does need it. Oh my Would you god! Like to you... tell you the current Vanmon total before we go into game. At least I three. I just want to say, you you guys loaded the you guys prepped the van the donation can and you loaded tofu into it. <laughs> I do love that we just keep <laughs> like sending him like a rocket through the sky. It's do the nuclear. It boy feels head. like. Everyone gathers up and builds a large, conveniently placed brick wall for Topher to bust through Kool-Aid Man style <laughs> with just it's an either, alarming sum of money. It's either him or VN Veteran. Correct. Honestly, yeah. Storm? Okay, yes. Add knives, knives out to the list. I just read chat. Yeah, what? Well, gotcha. <laughs> was it blue we'll again? fix them. Don't worry, we'll fix them. God damn it, was blue again! <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. Blue, we have to, it was. Blue, look, we're not mad. We'll just, we will fix you. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll it's make a, you worse. It's okay it's, to be it's broken. It's probably the latter. There you will be adjusted. two routes and nothing else. <laughs> it's, it's two routes that lead to the same spot. <laughs> Correct. Uh, oh. So, but that said, the current total of Vanmon tokens, uh, if somebody would like to give me a light drum roll, please. Cool, thanks, everybody. Love y'all. Uh, I don't think oh, I'm doing it. I did it. Oh, well, I didn't. But anyway. Oh, my um, on, I'm, 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 uh, I'm allergic to the drum roll. Continue. The, the total tokens for Vanmon is 2,179. Jesus Christ. Can you say that again? 2,000. 179 tokens for the van. You I can fire that cannon up, so many times. Give, give, um, um, as a, as, uh, two, as four, four digits. Four digits. Uh huh. Yeah, you like the math on how that <laughs> math sound on things? That's so much. Yes. That's a lot. <laughs> He's gonna find other things to do with it, and that's what scares me most. And. Keep in nice. mind, by the way, that's the total number of tokens after you guys spent 150 of them to break one of the firewalls. Thank you, chat. Thanks, chat. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this van down here somehow so we can shoot Andrew, uh, high Angemon. Uh, <laughs> You're, You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're with it. Exactly. But yes, that said, uh, I believe that covers our donations for now before... Indeed. Uh, the, before, you know, more bombs oh, are dropped and people need to spend tokens before they can get more, so please. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Watch, so, you just go to roll a brain check and explode six times. We absolutely <laughs> did everything we need to do, and we can just go ahead and start game, right? Yep. Yep. That's yeah. correct, yes. Yeah. Wahoo. Did anyone hear and anything? Such. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Budget. <laughs> Yes. What you may or might, may not hear is rushing wind. Welcome back, folks. I'm presently falling to my doom. Well, stay
with Duskmon following close behind. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you gotta restart. Uh, uh, I hit the wrong button, so there. Yeah, I was about to comment on that. I glanced at my at my left mod. I was like, that's not the guy. I hit the wrong button by accident. Okay. <laughs> Take two. God damn it, Fuck. Pyro. It's fine. It's a long fall. Welcome back, folks. I'm presently falling to my doom. Whilst I fall, may I distract you from my imminent demise by telling you what happened when last our tale was told and whatnot? Why am I falling? Why, that's not important. You want to recap or nah? I'm hearing yes, so here we go. So when last the stuff happened, Grayson and Sammy went a cyber sleuthing, with Duskmon following close behind, being a creepy ninja of shadows and night terrors. The two found Wendigomon, having secret meetings with Eismon, another night terror Digimon. It sounded like Eismon was all, Follow the script. And, Don't get soft on me. Or something like that, and were making evil plans. So naturally, the cowardly nerd and the sick child followed the dangerous shadow monster through a narrow, dingy alleyway. It sounds irresponsible when I say it like that, but they were fine. So then they found Wendigomon's secret Wendigo lair, and decided to get the others before launching an investigation, hoping to find proof of cheating to get around the need to fight him. The group prepped some new items, healed up, and went out into the night to face their most dangerous foe yet! A locked door skill challenge. As they debated various ways of opening it, the door opened on its own, and the group scattered into various hiding spots. And out came... Hi, Andromon! Dun dun dun! Who sounded suspiciously similar? I combined two words to the mystery static guy who's been fighting our heroes. More dun dun duns. Anyway, after that revelation, Eismon showed up and started taunting our heroes. But Wizardmon used the power of portals to jump them back to home base, where they rested for the tournament. Now they get to meet the leader of the Static Desert, someone who will likely help them in the fight against Hyandramon, only to realize that the mysterious Static Guy who's been fighting them, aka Hyandramon, even more da da duns Well, that was a massive cliffhanger to end on. I wish I had a cliff to hang on. Sadly, I'm still falling. Boy, this is gonna hurt. Let's see how our heroes react to this shocking revelation on today's Digi-Destiny! I'm okay! Oh. <laughs> you all see as the glass of the high up box slides open and out walks High Andromon onto the stage before beginning to open his mouth and address the crowd. Digimon from around the server. Thank you so much for joining us for our festivities. I apologize in advance for my lateness on things. I believe it's high time I introduce myself. I am High Andromon, and I am the leader of the Static Desert. It falls to me to be the judge of these games should, for some reason or another, a tie take place, or worse than that, any cheating were to occur. With that said, I believe it's high time we start the second round of the Rookie Cup. Nannymon, if you could please take it away. At which point, Nannymon, kind of a little shocked and shaken himself, kind of turns towards the crowd. Well, you heard it here, folks. We're going to get started with the second round of the Rookie Cup. How is everyone feeling, by the way? <laughs> Uh, mentally or physically? Yes. <laughs> Grayson is trying to herd everyone into like a small huddle. Like, hey guys, bring it in, bring it in. Look at you. What? Eo is kind of flabbergasted right now. It's like, what the hell? He said hi time twice. I think it's his catchphrase. Hi and oh man, oh, I'm gonna put my dog in the Sorry, Nick. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> I want on the technicality. <laughs> Throw up my goggles and just do a quick scan to see what I can find out about this guy. Very well, go ahead and roll me a. Or sorry, spend one of your spending the point. on this one. I apologize. Uh, so, first thing you get is a reading that you haven't seen since you've been in Data City. 
You see that Hyandramon is categorized as a vaccine, okay. but is also le labeled as mega level. <laughs> you also see that their current highest strengths for now are brains and fight. Oh, of course. Gu guys, uh, um, we have a problem. Yeah, I could. Th I can just mega assume. I, uh, a... I might have missed a few things, but is that the staticky voice man? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a mega. I got a rock lock and loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Brains and fights. He's real smart and a good brawler, so... Walk around those. Do with that what you will. We're not talking about fighting him right now, are we? I'm just giving us an update on what he can do so we can get away if he tries anything. <laughs> I mean, do... I mean, what do we do? I don't know if we can do anything. He's kind of right got we... stunlocked here. I we mean, react. We wait to see what he does and act accordingly. That's kind of all we can do. I mean... I could take him. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Just I put mean... me in the mega cup that exists. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Is there a mega... Oh, yeah. If anyone could, you'd probably be the underdog that would do it. Yeah. Uh... At which point, Nannymon is going to uh, gather everyone's attention, whereas there's a lot of murmuring from High Andromon's entrance, who now uh, walks back towards where their box is. The glass doesn't slide back down, but they're sitting in a very large uh, black metal chair, just looking over the crowd and the arena itself. I'm imagining Lord Zed music. <laughs> At which point, Nannymon calls out, Very well, we're going to start round two of the Rookie Cup. Our first competitors for today, who have both done very well to make it so far in their competitive matches. On the one corner, coming in after a very successful match against a bladed foe, or a shielded foe, I should say. Goodness, I'm getting my script messed up. Sunrizaman! And the other corner. A foe that has taken on an individual much like themselves, but now faces something entirely different. Jasmine! And the two competitors make their way over to the opposite sides of the arena. I hope everyone is ready. Let's open the digital gate! And they begin their match. <clears throat> while this is happening, is anybody making bets on the fights or investigating anything while this is going on? Uh, Eeyore wants to turn to the group. Reminder, uh, when we get to the champions, we should look for what Aizmon is doing while Wendigomon's fighting. Grayson, maybe you can also keep eyes on High and to see if he does anything. Maybe? But, like, if, if we have to fight, do we have a plan? I, I'm, I'm just... I'm just talking about just getting evidence. If that's even still gonna matter with him rigging things. I, I feel like we're on our back foot now, like... What is our objective all of a sudden? Because I don't think any of us were expecting the the boss to show up here. Yeah, I definitely wasn't. The BBEG has uh, arrived. A green mon's going to chime in. Like, <clears throat> what if we got like a bunch of other champions to side with us? Like, I can try to talk to Bulkmon, let them know that there's some cheating going on, tell them like. See what, if we can rally like a small army or something? I don't know. I mean, getting Pokemon's help, even f if we wanted to get back into that door, would be a good idea anyway. Does Gunimon see Pokemon anywhere around in the immediate vicinity? Uh, they would not be in the little VIP box where you guys have been, because they're no longer competing in the tournament at this point, but... Like, if do they see probably... him out in the stands from our vantage points? Uh, probably not from here immediately, uh, but okay. if if you went searching around, possibly, but that would be up to you guys to decide that. Gotcha. Also, also I will say, for Astro, I am going to put money on, on Jazamon. Fair enough. I got so you, how Astro. Much you put, how much are you putting in for Jazamon? 
Uh, EO will put in, uh, let's call this 200 bits. 200 bits, very well. Anyone else putting in a uh, further betting in? I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm very well. And then, uh, after about five minutes of back and forth, and it is a very back and forth battle, eventually one of the competitors falls. Winner by knockout, Sunrizamon! As well, you see, Jazamon is collapsed to the ground. Damn it! And Sunrizamon will very, very carefully crawl their way back over uh, to their side, as they're they're pretty wounded from this bout. But we'll go ahead and make our way over to the Rookie Cup brackets and show that Jazamon has fallen back. Sunrizamon makes it to the next round. I'll go ahead and get everything set up for the next one while you guys are obviously considering some plans of what the hell to do now that this is a factor to deal with. I'm completely joking when I say this, but guys, we gotta get Mon Mon on our side. That's the <laughs> only way. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're like... joking, but he's, he's secretly the key. Don't death flag Mon Mon, he's still competing. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, we'll go. Look, oh, me, it's Mark. <laughs> go ahead, we'll go have a moment where like one of us is gonna be the target of a killing blow, and Mama's just gonna piccolo us, just like shield us from the, the blow. <laughs> I, I was gonna say if if Mama loses to Commander Mon, now I'm coming for your Pyro. Oh, <laughs> jo jokes uh, aside, I'm gonna. Yeah, guys. As much as everything in me tells me, try and fight him. I know that's a bad idea, because... He's learning. He... He has us at a disadvantage of not knowing what public opinion of him is right now. Whereas we could have taken care of C CEO Gigimon if he was evil behind closed doors. How will we look? Even if we could take him out. I get where you guys are coming from, but there's another bigger issue here, which is that it doesn't matter what anyone thinks of him, because he can just turn people staticky. He can just make them fight for him, even if they're megas. Well, right. wait, question. How many at a time, though? We, we, there, as far, there's, like, I... countless ones that were just out in the desert like it's enough of a problem that everyone's gone underground. That's the number good. he could control is possibly limitless. That's what I, I was thinking. Like we've only ever seen three, but that's again we've only ever seen. So three. I shouldn't get an army to help us fight, because then that army could be turned against us. Yeah, you kind of pointed out all of his dissenters in a public forum. That Good maybe eyes. wouldn't be great. Also, to piggyback off that, he controlled. Flamemon and Terriamon before. I I haven't developed countermeasures on that yet. Yeah. We know there's a terminal somewhere in the static desert, right? Yeah. We might want to try to find out where that is, because there might be some... The only thing I can think of that could even try to take him on is something that the admins set up. Well, if I... If I was a betting man... I think it would be behind that door. Makes at sense. Point, Terminal? Nanny, at which point, Nannymon is going to call out for the next round to start. We'll be going on to the next round of the Rookie Cup. On the one hand, Commandromon! And on the other, the dark horse of the tournament so far. Believe you me, at least for me, Manman! How dare you. There is a small, like, <laughs> crowd that is gathered around Mon Mon's corner that is just cheering him on as he stares blankly ahead. Hey, wait, we should have <laughs> used the organizer to make Mon Mon large and sell that. <laughs> you I know what? I, I lost money before. I am putting 500 on Mon Mon. 500 on Mon Mon, okay. Uh, anyone else doing <laughs> anything? E I don't like how nervous I that will, laugh was. I will absolutely put... Hold on, how much do I have? <laughs> You're gonna bet the whole house. 
No, not the whole house. Just the whole house. 2,000 bits on Mon Mon. All right, 2,000 bits on Mon Mon. And remember, it's a Mon two to Mon. One, so, so whatever you bet in is like basically how much you'll get back. So if you're betting in 2K, you're going to get an extra 2K on that. Is there double or nothing action that Mon Mon digivolves into Mon 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 mid fight? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in this case, no, because the whole point of the tournament is to, like, to stay at level, so... Did you okay, so what if it's a slide evolution into Mon 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 mode? Okay, you know what, that's not... <laughs> Can I make it 3k? <laughs> Alright, 3... so that's... 3k from Riot betting on Mon Mon, that's... 500 from... was it Grayson or Eos? Eos betting 500 on Mon Mon, anyone else putting in bets on this. Oh, you know, I'm about to get really happy or really sad. <laughs> I already lost a thousand. I don't want to put money in on this. That's fair. Can Grayson use loyalty on Mon Mon? <laughs> <laughs> that depends how much loyalty are you putting in, and I assume it's just through cheering. I want to do three. Three tokens, very well. As you, as you and <laughs> Terrier Mon Almost joining in with a small fan club. From We're doing the way, the way. It's just us. It's just it, you guys. He, uh, Terry Amon is waving glow sticks. <laughs> I, love it. I don't know Me? where you found them, but I'm proud of I you. I stole them. R Riot, freaking ER, and Grayson each holding up a sign that says M O N, and we just put it up twice. <laughs> ERs is upside down. I love it. Good thing it's so it says Wad oh, Wan. <laughs> Nanny Mon raises one. his hand up into the sky. Competitors ready? Let's open the digital gate! And the gates open and they begin rushing out. Commander Mon starts off by sending off a bit of fire over towards Mon Mon, who is just walking slowly forward towards Commander oh, no. Mon. All That's the right. bullets either seem to be getting close to him or are so far off. You can see Commander Mon shaking from where he's at. <laughs> like he's losing right. his nerve. Until Mon Mon is right up in his face. And Commander Mon is about to mouth, like open his mouth to say something. Before Mon Mon takes out the large slingshot. And swings it across the way. Impacts into, Mon into Commander Mon's jaw. Who then crumples to the ground. <laughs> Mon Mon <laughs> sweet. Winner by knockout. An immediate one at that. Mon Mon! So, <laughs> we don't stand ER, a take e ER, you're, you're plus 500. Riot, you're a plus 3,000 more bits. Lord. I'll, uh, I'll just, uh... Tell you, mine is high in that digital life. Only real life had these kind of odds. Damn! I just want to mention, for anyone yeah. who was curious, uh, that's a very solid recap of the Endor scene in Episode 6 of Star Wars. <laughs> As we go over to the Rookie Cup bracket and show that Commander Mon has been knocked down and Mon Whoop. Mon moves on Whoop. to the semifinals. Oh Mon God. Mon moves on on. <laughs> so, okay, this is going to be really bad when Terry Mon or Mon Jamon fights him. <laughs> That'll be great. Well, Going into the next round, uh, Monodramon, it is your turn to get yourself ready, so you'll need to start making your way to your uh, competitor's area. Yep, I, I gotta get going, guys. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully I'll win this one. Oh, you got this, buddy. I got your back. Thank you. So All with right. that, Monodramon, you make your way back to uh, your corner of the stage, and Nannymon begins to make his introductions again. We're starting ourselves off now with the third match of the second round of the Rookie Cup. In the one corner, after a very interesting back and forth battle during their first round, let's see if they can back it up this time. Coming in in the blue corner, Monodramon! And there is a roar of applause from kind of all over the place. Ooh! <laughs> and in the red hey, corner. Thank you. After their interesting bouts, which seem to have a lot of people both in positives, negatives, and very mixed reviews overall, but coming in from behind after their incredible victory, Black Agumon! As Black Agumon wanders into their corner. Zubamon should have won, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not biased, shut up. <laughs> I'm completely biased. Zubamon should have won. So. With that, 
Uh, That's how you know this is evil. evil. With that, Nannymon raises his hand up. I hope you're all ready, folks. May the third match of the second round for the Rookie Cup begin. Let's open the digital gate. And I would like Monodramon to go ahead and roll me a flight check. Oh, wow. I like this electric accordion music. It's time. It really just killed my headphones for a minute. My flight. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait. Gotta make sure I'm on Monodramon. <laughs> Good call. There we go. Let's go, boy. So, uh, we shouldn't. So it's it's not right to be using uh, augment chips, right? I mean, <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that. Okay, I don't know that. Okay, yeah, we don't know that. No one told you the augment chips were not allowed, but they did say, hey, any supplementals would probably be frowned upon. Okay, but I heard that though, right? I mean, yeah, you were there when Nanimon was talking, but that said, you didn't talk to, uh, to well, ER ahead of time was, to remove the chips. <laughs> was he? Because I think that that conversation with Nanimon was like, Grace and Sammy, Sister Mom. Actually, in that, in that case, yeah, then you weren't here for that, so yeah. If you and they didn't say anything. All right. Yeah, yeah it's on you guys. Nobody. Yeah, it's, yeah. Isn't this shit? <laughs> Blood's on our hands. To Look. be fair, you guys went through your first round without knowing that, so. Look, True. also, Grayson plays with mods. He doesn't care. <laughs> That's fair, but this is also ER's, uh, ER's partner, so... Alright, that is well, a four for Monodramon. Which yay. means Monodramon is going first. <laughs> what? what the? <laughs> Black Agumon is not very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, eat shit, Agumon! Oh, I see, this is actually probably conflicting with Grimm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you must face yourself. I don't know why, but I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Bring it on, little man. Your voice is ugly. <laughs> Not how Agumon sounds. <laughs> how would you know you've never met me? <laughs> have you even seen an Agumon before? I you have seen an Agumon before. <laughs> Does toy Agumon count? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So Pick his ass! Cause, Cause he said that I'm gonna go in with my best ability a good old headbutt very well go ahead and roll me a, go ahead and give me a fight check and if you want to add tokens er now's the time to do it after the roll before i roll for black agamon okay um so i have to declare how many i'm adding now you you can declare it before i roll so if monodramon okay. rolls and i haven't said anything yet that's when you can add tokens but once you say a number that's locked in Gotcha. All right, so I'll roll. He'll say it, and then you, and then you'll roll. Yes. All right, let's do that. And I'll be declaring my tokens before the roll. So <laughs> that is a seventeen on the fight check. I'm at three. All right, so that is a twenty. <laughs> so for that, I'm going to add six tokens for Black Agumon. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot 16. you could do that. I forgot you could do that. And they rolled a nineteen, so that is a twenty-five. So you come in with a powerful headbutt, and. You feel an impact, but you feel no movement as you, like, reel back. Agum Black Agumon hasn't moved from their spot from the headbutt. Is that the best you've got? I think it's my turn. And he's going to take a deep breath in, and he's going to make a fight check against you as he lets out a pepper breath. Well, how dare. And I'll be spending no tokens on this yeah. one. That is an 11 on the fight check. So either uh, flight to dodge it or brawn to tank it. Uh, I probably want to tank it. Let me see. Let me get back yeah, it's brawn to d12. Yeah, I want plus a uh, extra for the chip. So yeah. yeah. So you have to meet or beat an 11 on your brawn check. All right, and then blood. after my roll, we can add. Uh, points. All right. Yeah. That would be correct. Yes. And then one. One. All right. Yo. That is a 12. So that and beats it already by itself. So Excellent. Pepper Breath exhales out of Black Agumon's mouth. And much like he did as well, you arms, wings up, the fire blast impacts into your body and you spread your arms out as the smoke dissipates as you're unfazed. 
Let me show you a real flame attack. I use flame, uh, I think flame breath. Very well. Yeah. Go ahead and give me your flight check. And uh, this would also be when ER, if you want to spend tokens, now's the time. Alrighty. Let's roll and see. <laughs> back to back 17. That's I'll, insane. I'll make this another three. Very well. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend, uh, let's say just four tokens this time. And we'll roll for the brawn check. Alright, that's not enough. That is a 7 versus a 17, so that is beating it by 10. So what happens? Ooh! <laughs> uh... So, I mean, he gets me and doesn't do anything. I brush it off, a little thing. I go out there and I, I, it's like you know getting the biggest loogie i i fucking go in and get all my flames and then uh i uh throw my attack at him and he tries to block it and the flames are just so much that he just like loses and like flies out with all so the with burns the, and stuff so with the blast it impacts and he tries to block and hold as he did before with the headbutt but you see yeah. his body beginning to slide back in the sand before his arms break out. The fire impacts into his chest and sends him tumbling ass over tea kettle until he takes two points of damage. I honestly thought you were going to go, I swallow his flame and spit it back, but big off. Uh, <laughs> I wish Monodramon was like that. <laughs> so, next up in the order is Black Agumon, who's going to dust himself off, who's looking very much worse for wear at this point. And he looks over at you, Monodramon. I gotta say, buddy, you got a sharp look in your eyes. <laughs> and as he says this, I need you to make a grit check. The DC oh. is 10. Oh, God. <laughs> Mine's a 10. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, how many tokens do I have? So to you, meet you this, only spent you would need six. Eight. Ugh, it'll bring me down to one token. Well, but, we know uh, it's coming. Oh, uh, but... Mm. Wait, 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 What's up? Majramon is, uh... Where is that ability? He's immune to paralyze. No, 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 immune, no, to, immune panic. to panic immune to conditions. Panic. This is panic. not a panic know. condition. Okay. Should, what do you think, Grim? Should I let this one go? Well, I have battle sense too. Uh, yeah, so I'm, we can afford to take one loss. Yeah, let's take that. Very okay. well. Uh, as he says this, Monodramon, your vision begins to kind of blur for a moment. And as you shake your head to kind of get yourself yeah. clear, uh, suddenly Black Agumon is up in your face and is ready to attack you with a claw attack. Huh? And you're <laughs> What's like, happening? Yeah. So you are going to take a minus two penalty to this as he makes an attack roll against you. And I'll be spending oh. four tokens on this for his fight check. Oh. Rude. So that is a six on his fight check. You'll take a minus two of whatever you roll. So I'll probably do, is it gonna be brawn or flight or is it just brawn? It would be brawn or flight. All right, let's do brawn. And you have a plus one on that already, so it's a negative one. You bring up your guard at the last second as the claws impact and send you flying backwards. You take no damage, but you're startled like, what was that? <laughs> and you look around to try and have some idea as to what's going on. Can Grayson scan to see if that was a natural ability or something else? Grayson didn't see anything. Oh, makes sense. So, Monodramon, it is now your turn. What are you doing? I don't know what you did there. But that thing is going to get me to be taken down. I'm going to win this whole tournament. Rookie, champion, ultimate, mega, whatever. I'm going to win it all. And I'm going to use Shadow, uh, I think Shadow Wing or Shadow Claw. All right, very well. Go ahead and give me the fight check. Ah! <laughs> ah! So, uh... Red, would you like to spend any tokens on this? No! Oh, I don't know if I can spend anything that would make no, that no. 
So we'll go ahead and just roll for Black Algamons. So that is a 17 on there. Oh, I wouldn't have had it enough anyway. So you yeah. try to Nick, you make your way this? forward. What's up? Nick, you want yeah, some tokens get... on this just to make sure you succeed? <laughs> I think I'm good. I'll be fine. So, Monodramon, you try to make your way forward, and again, you feel that weird sensation over your body and that vision blurring. Something is off, but you're not quite sure what. So you begin to sort of sweep around looking at the oh, area. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. And... As it begins to Black Agumon's turn, I'd like, like you to roll me another grit check. The no. DC for this is 12. Don't do this to me. A grit? Okay, how do, what would that have to be? So you have a to 12. meet or beat a 12. Oh boy, you're gonna have to give me points regardless. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm you're gonna explode. Too, don't worry about it, you're gonna explode. Oh, you <laughs> 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 The I prophecy. <laughs> your, As I was saying. As you begin to sweep around your vision, the blurring begins to slightly fade. And you notice there's a bit of like a warbling effect happening in different parts of the arena. Specifically, some that are around Black Agumon and some that are around the VIP box where all of your friends are situated at. So something's going on. You're not sure what, but it's causing some form of visual disturbance in those areas. So there's things that are happening around me that's causing this? Yes, but you can't pinpoint where, and you're not sure what it is. But something is causing you to see things. <sighs> I don't know what you're doing to me, but I don't think it's something that you can do yourself. Regardless, I'm try to gonna, stay focused, bud. As I'm gonna Black persevere. So, they are gonna go ahead and jump into the air and come down with a diving claw attack. We'll go ahead and roll their fight check against you. Which, by the way, I didn't notice this until now because I forgot. Black Agumon is considered a virus, so he will take a minus one penalty versus uh, Monodramon as a vaccine. Oh, oh. oh, by the way, how many rolls have we failed so far? I forgot to add those tokens. Oh, yeah. Uh, two. I think two. One fight yeah, check okay. and one grit check that you have failed. Gotcha. So, we'll go ahead and that'll be a minus one penalty on Black Agumon, but we'll spend two tokens on this one. So it'll be at a plus one on this roll. So that is a five on the fight check from Black Agumon. It's a minus I'm what? In. That is a five on their fight check. You just have to make either a brawn or a flight to tank or okay. Brawn! Come on, baby, fly! What? Yeah! That's so, actually, as hey. Black Agumon dives down to attack you, with that nine, you successfully, using one of your wings and claws, backhand him out of the air as he stumbles and rolls across the ground before taking back up his fight I position. Can can it just be that I move as he tries to get me instead of pushing him back? Sure. So or he hits me and I push him to the side kind of thing. Right. And then I'm gonna go in with a crackling bite. Yeah. Alrighty. Go ahead and give me the fight check on that one. The Rat King fell. All right, that is a 10. Is ER, are you spending I'm any tokens on this? Five. Uh, five also, tokens. Also, that's actually with a plus one because of virus. It was that is oh, correct. yeah. So that is an 11 okay. right now, so you're still spending five. So 16 total. So 16 right there. Very well. We'll go ahead and we're just going to do a flat roll. No tokens for this one for Black Agumon. Has to meet or beat a 16. That is a two. So as... You bring your teeth down. You're like, this is the finishing blow. Time seems to stop for a moment. And you feel your teeth dig deep in to something. But it is clearly not Black Agumon. Until you hear, and only you hear, a resounding ping that you recognize from a few days ago in the static desert as what? Black Agumon shakes you off. And you look over at him and 
fading just out of view, only visible for just a moment, you see what resembles that same shield-like substance that those viruses had when you were in the static desert earlier and you had dealt with that encounter. Fucking cheaters. As Black Agumon shakes himself off. It's not gonna be that easy, bud. Yeah. Why do you have that shield on? Aren't you yes. a rookie? You're asking the wrong questions. And as he zoops towards you, I need you to make me another grit check. DC is 10. Uh, look, he's lying on it. What did Monodromon Mon Mon ever do to deserve this? <laughs> Is Mon Mon a double agent too? No, Mon Mon would never be a double agent. <laughs> Get that out of your head! <laughs> you maniac! Oh, I'm sorry. So, go ahead and give me that grit check. DC is 10. Do I get a plus one? This is... For the virus type, or... Or does he get yes. a minus? Does he get a minus? This is, again, not Black Algamon's doing, but you will take a plus one on this, because it is a virus affecting you. Gee, okay. I wonder who. So go ahead and give me that grit check. I can't <laughs> make that. So that yeah. is a three. Uh... And what's the DC? So the DC was to meet or beat a 10. I can't make that, even if I so, yeah. Take your one token then, and your vision fades for a moment, this time becoming pure black as you look around to see what's going on. You look over towards the VIP box where you can see all of your friends totally fine. You look over to ER, who's smiling as you're going into battle until you see myriad red eyes surrounding ER and you see claws beginning to wrap around ER's throat. No! Stop! And in your panic state, we'll go ahead and roll the fight check here. You will take a minus four penalty to this. Does ER even call out stop? You see that Monodromon looks just confused and, like, is looking over towards your direction, looking panicked. That is a 13 on the fight check, even with the minus one, for Black Agumon. Take a minus four on your brawn check for this. So I'll just add one. I'll just, uh, I'll just minus so, three. No, I, I, I applied the minus one to uh, okay. Black Agumon, so. Oh, well, this, this is my, uh my bronze this is your uh, brawn augment chip that i'm adding yes so just we'll just minus four from that yes so that's 13 versus six as your the darkness around you returns back to the stadium as black algamon's fist impacts into your jawline and sends you tumbling over the ground as you take one point of damage <laughs> buddy What's going you're on? A little, you're looking a little panicked, friend. He's, <laughs> He's immune game. to that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose to a cheater like you. I don't know who you're working with or what you're doing, but I'm never, ever giving up. Alrighty, it is now Black Al uh, It is now uh, Monodromon's turn. What are you doing? I'm. How far am I? How far away am I from him? You could you could get to him. It's not a far of a that far of a blast back from his punch. I'm gonna do a ability I've never done. I'm gonna do burst shadowing and go all out. All right. So go ahead and give me the fight check, and ER if you've got tokens, that would be the time to add it after the roll happens. Let's go. And you'll take your plus one to this because you are vaccine versus virus. There it is. Oh. 
Alrighty, so that is a 14. Is that with the plus one from uh, Vaccine versus Virus as well? Mm, yeah. Alrighty, so that is uh, a 14. Plus, ER, are you plus adding your... Anything? Oh wait, do you have a plus one fight ship? Was it a flight? It's flight. Oh, it's flight, flight, yeah, uh, I will... Oh wait, am I half health because I'm two out of three? You are at two out of three, that is still above half. Okay. It's two thirds, so. I, I, I don't know where you're gonna pick that, pick up or down. I, I have to, I have to make it even, so. <laughs> I'm gonna hold now, cause if he does get to half health, I'll be, uh, I'm gonna hold my tokens for if he gets to half health, so we can maybe do a, a helmet with low. Very well. Black Agamemnon's gonna go ahead and roll their brawn check against you. No additions on this one. Alrighty. And they roll a two, and again, you send out this... How does your attack go? Uh, it's like a powerful lunge to him with my wing as it turns into a shadow-like form. The blade-like wing impacts into Black Algamon's body. And again, you hear that resounding ting go off. And you see a smile crack on Black Algamon's face. The four... Following that, you hear a crack. And before the shield begins to fade from view, you see that you have made a dent into the cra into this supposed shield. You're breaking yes. through. At which point, Black Algamon, who apparently is unnoticed, I told you, you can't hurt me, bud! And is going to go ahead and make a fight check against you. They'll take a minus one penalty on this one, but we'll spend three tokens on this. So it'll be only plus two on their roll. So that is a 12 on their fight check. Okay. Uh, so do we have to put in the points now, or can we roll? And put in the you points would roll first? first and then add the points. All right, so... I'm going to do, br do bronze. Do so I have any penalties? Or No, Did I already I... applied them. Did I get a token from that attack because the shield prevented it from hurting him? You technically succeeded, but no damage was dealt because of a status effect, so... Okay, there, so it's a still succeeded. It was, it was not a failed roll. It was just failed damage. Gotcha. Do I get an extra point? Did you already put in the applied points for our differences? I, appl I applied okay. it to Black Algamon already with this roll, so it has a 12 on their fight check. Alright, so I'm just doing a plus one with my uh, chip. All right, go ahead. Oh. What's so, the DC? That is, a, that is a 12 versus a 4 right now. Okay, we're not double, at least. I have only 7 tokens. Just I can wait. only get that to an 11. No, so, with this, the vision still be getting blurry all around you. Black Agumon's claws slashes across the front of your chest as you take another point of damage. <laughs> You got this, March Mod. Hold in. It's at this point I need you to make me another grit check to see if you keep your emotions stable. What? DC is still ten. You'll get a plus one on this because again, it is a vaccine versus virus on this. I will spend four tokens. All right, very well. So that is plus five already for you. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I made six tokens. Alrighty, so that is six tokens. So, Monodramon, you feel yourself getting angry, and you feel that same feeling from when you saw ER get knocked out by the Numamon earlier from days ago. You feel that same rage boiling up. And you feel that inner glow beginning to happen before you hear ER call out from behind you in the stands. You got this, man! You can do it! No. I don't want to succumb to that anger. I'm going to keep going. If it's the last thing I do, as Monodramon! It is now your go against Black Agumon. So now I have one health? You are at one HP right now. He's almost dead. Exactly where he wants to be. <laughs> Battle sense kicks the fuck in. I am bleeding, making me the victim. 
<laughs> All right. So, very well. And I have only one money. token left. So go ahead and give me the fight check. You will add a plus five to this because of battle sets. As well as another plus one because vaccine versus virus. So plus six on your roll. Come on, explode. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy, thank God. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna th throw the one in now, because I, because I can. Very well, Every so little. 12 versus Black Agumon's Brawn check, which is a three. You, what is your attack that you're doing against him? I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do oh, a bud? beat knuckle. Yeah! It's an earth-shattering right, force that will wallop him with my powerful claws. So you get in faster than you've ever felt yourself go before, and Black Agumon is stunned, unable to move, as you come in with a powerful thrusting punch into the sternum. And again, you feel that resounding ting go off of the shield before Black Agumon gets a bit of airtime and lands, and you look, and the shield that has been surrounding his body that's been fading from view shatters. As he looks down and he looks over to you. Well, that wasn't in the script. But you're still going down, bud. You can't beat me. I'd like to I won't let me. a cheater do do this to me. I won't ever give up. I'd say go ahead and give me one more grit check. The DC for this is five. Because you're so resolved. Oh, I should have saved that one point for this. Again, how, you've how got much more? It is it's a DC five. of five. You have to meet or beat a five. You've got a plus one, because again, virus versus vaccine. Yeah. And that, and nothing, you, I, you didn't say I added any more than that? Nothing Great. more than that. Yeah, a balance sense only change. applies to attack rolls. Only to attack rolls. This is your so, technically defending against an ability. So I get plus one, okay. Plus one, yep. You have to meet or beat a five. Yeah. <laughs> As you yell out the blurred vision, fades from your mind. You see the crowd, you can hear them calling out and just shouting at this breakneck battle between the both of you. And it is now Black Agumon's attempt to attack you is going to try a pepper breath at you. He'll take a minus one penalty for this. Which, funnily enough with that, results in a one. So you have to meet or beat a one with your brawn or flight check. Good luck. <laughs> Plus two, right? Because uh, I got my my chip and his. Did you already? I keep forgetting. I, I, I applied the bonus or the negative to Black Agumon right. already. So Even yeah. with the, ch you what? don't have to hold the chips. Do it. <laughs> so you, you it a two. <laughs> feel the impact of the pepper breath, but you just sideswipe it with a claw, tearing through the flame as you make your way forward. As Black Agumon is scared looking up at you. Your little trick would have worked with other rookies. But unlucky for you, you're facing against the number one strongest rookie Digimon to ever live! Go ahead and give me a fight check. <laughs> the one six. himself! Monotromon! Give me, it's plus six to this roll. <laughs> Mon walking like, who declares that? I'm so, number 70! <laughs> we'll go ahead and do a flat roll for Black Agumon. What happens? <laughs> My attacks As... can hurt you? Who declares that? Alright, I'm gonna go a little fancy with this. Do it! I'm gonna go out there. I charge at him. I do one beat knuckle into his chest, and then another, and then another, and then another, and then another, and another, and another, and another, and another, and another, and I just go full on JoJo on his ass. The crowd can see the shock waves from every impact as you pummel into Black Agumon's chest before eventually you're swinging, but you feel that you're not hitting anything as you finally stop and look down and you see crumpled to the ground, eyes in just total corkscrew, knocked out Black Agumon as Nanimon calls out, Winner by almost overkill. 
Mono Drummond! Oh, he's already down. I was going to do a headbutt to finish that off. Oh, okay. <laughs> he threw it anyway! He fucking juggled crowd. this boy, son! Goes fucking wild. As you pull yourself up, kind of dust off all of the debris, look down at your various wounds and see the broken body of Black Agumon, who has to be dragged off of the stage. Ugh. I really did it. We've got our top three making their way into the semifinals, folks. Let's check the board. And sure enough, Black Agumon falls down as Monodromon makes it into the semifinals. Eat a dick, you Cheeto. <laughs> he might have had oh. Black Agumon energy, but Monodromon had Black Air Force energy. You put Agumon's <laughs> name to shame. Monodromon Mon just kind of thinking, huh, how many times did it take Windigomon killing someone before they kicked him out? I can afford, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be sure, you know, he didn't have another shield underneath there. <laughs> and so, Chase, that's why he beat your boy before. Exactly. That's the Damn. only way. <laughs> that's Cheating. the only reason. Only a cheater could defeat the twentiest. <laughs> so with that, Monodramon makes it to the next round. And uh, Monodramon, at this point, you make your way back to the stands while there's a bit of an intermission for everyone. And yeah. you can make your way and talk to everybody else. And I'll yeah. throw us back over to the arena map. Eeyore is so hyped. He's like that one dude in this in the uh, Endgame movie who does a flip backflip in the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's like, dude, that was incredible. You, Oh, man, you showed him what you got. Yeah. I knocked over my water. <laughs> <laughs> Both in the stands and out of the stands. That, that was both in and out of character. Yes. Grayson's gonna go through his jacket and pull out that uh, holy ring, and he's gonna see if he can use that to heal Mom. Alrighty, sure. I would say go ahead and roll me. I'll say uh, a brain check on this one. We'll actually no. We'll say it's a charm check. And okay. And I'll set the DC to... to this to eight. Okay. I just want to see if we can like save some of the healing uh, chips for later. Fair enough. Well. You hold the ring out, and it's just there. Smack him with it, does one point of damage. <laughs> Knocks him out. Monodramon, no! <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed uh, to I, heal, I not hurt. I was meant the tokens, but Terriamon's up next. Yeah, don't do it, man. I got this. I'll I got a token it. from that, though. Yes, hey, you there you go. Uh, game the system. Uh, I'm going to start pumping heal chips into Monodramon. Very well, you can go ahead and spend two if you want to get him back to full. Yeah, well, let's do it for a seconds. Whew! So, <laughs> I, I, I like all the damage is gone. Yay! I didn't have a moment of doubt. And everyone else sees that Eo has some sweat. <laughs> <laughs> nice finish, y'all. Very Thanks. flashy. I, I really thought this it was gonna be a, the opposite way, since he, I, I. I think Black Agumon was cheating somehow. What? what? How? He he had one of those shield things that I wasn't able to hit from like those one Digimon from the desert. The ones that rookies can't break through? Yeah, which is weird that a rookie would have one of those on. So that I have character. So that's how you beat the Digimon that Chase is upset about. Yeah, we, we were just talking about that. <laughs> oh. I mean, think about it. If we roll back to that fight, Black Agumon was on the back foot until 1 HP. That's when he would have Oh, actually you killed. son of a gun. Grayson is going to throw his goggles up and keep them there for the rest of the fight and, like, be scanning the field for any shifty shits. Fair enough. It wasn't just that either. I Something was affecting my vision. And Your vision? Yeah, but just... It went really dark and... I was seeing things like ER about to be attacked by something. I ER looks behind him as if it's still there. I mean, you see some of the other Digimon in the stands that are in the VIP section waiting for their matches. Icemon. 
You think do we have eyes on eyes, Mon? You do not have eyes on eyes, Mon. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. I mean... He even touches the point when he defeated him before. Like, hey, uh, Dust Mon, can you do, like, illusion things and tricks with the mind with your powers? Yes, I am capable of doing so. But it is cowardly. And foolish. Wait. And smelly. <laughs> it bad. I don't like it. No. So it's... <laughs> Reiner go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does it make sense? <laughs> Would Eismond have, like, a similar skill set like that? Almost certainly. Everyone knows the more eyes you have, the more power you obtain. Is, is that what they say? I start drawing Do... little eyes on the Terrier Mon to give him, like, a power boost <laughs> while he goes it. into the set. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you trying to particularly antagonize me? Is that what's going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a green one like lifts up the hat only to realize Maggie one has no eyes like oh my god <laughs> did someone take off my hat <laughs> I, a green one puts it back like, what wizardry is this exactly technically it's magic what, what wizardry mon is this <laughs> he's like daredevil <laughs> so with that, oh, sorry. Uh, so sorry. Nannymon is starting to get everyone together at this point. And Terrymon, you realize that you're up next as the last competitor in the second match, second round of the Rookie Cup. Okay, so what do I do if I if my opponent has one of those shields? Uh, look, your guy is Pawn Chessmon White, and he's a knight. I don't think he'd stoop to such uh, coward. And like, like, like he's a knight. He has chivalry, right? I don't know. What chivalry? Yeah, it's when you're very cold. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, he doesn't seem like a nice type. Did, like a Octic type teach him out to me. So I think I got this. That D4 brain just... is really working wonders for Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just... You're a fast guy. Speed blitz him. I'll be up here keeping eyes up. I am yeah, I'm on... Sorry, girl. No, 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 I, just I'm the speed. Go ahead. Oh, I'm uh, Monodramon's gonna go Terriermon. Good luck, Terry, Terriermon. Just be careful about the eyes. I, I, I don't know if we can report it, but it was rough for me already facing against Black Agumon's shield. But just be very cautious and do your best. Hopefully, Thanks we can fight up, in the man. finals. Yeah. Thanks for the heads right, up. Man. Semifinals? Are we in the same bracket? Yeah, with the yeah, you guys bracket. are in the same bracket. Yeah, semifinals. There we go. First try. <laughs> Nailed it in one. Got it. And then I just like, we just high five it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess with your ear? Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, absolutely with the ear. Ear and my, my towel, <laughs> my wing. <laughs> yeah. So with that, Terriermon, you begin to make your way over to your uh, part of the arena as Nanimon begins to address the crowd. Folks, it has been a wonderful set of battles so far for the Rookie Cup, and I think we're gonna end on a high note here before we make our way to the next cup on this one. In the first corner, a little guy who has by far made big impacts with his last match against El Ekmon. It's Terriermon! <laughs> Terriermon oh, walks in blowing kisses. <laughs> <laughs> blowing kisses the whole time. Just oh, waving yeah. with ears to the crowd, just eating it up. Oh yeah, the smug bastard. In this and corner, in the other corner. A little guy. <laughs> <laughs> and in this corner. Oh god, well, After a very powerful set of duels, this brave knight stands to make his way into the semifinals, with Terriermon blocking the way. It's Pawn Chessmon White! And there is a bit of a hush uh, over the crowd as Pawn Chessmon makes their way onto the stage and looks over towards you, Terriermon. Are you telling me that, like, the crowd's going crazy, and then the second they introduce Pawn Chessmon, it's silent? Yeah, because th their match was very, very quick, and he also hasn't said anything during his fight, so they're like, oh, this guy's just the silent protagonist, okay. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get fucking stomped by a dark horse. <laughs> Look, he, here's the thing, we can't trust him, he fought his own brother. <laughs> and they That's were right. brothers. <laughs> 
But they were closer that's... than brothers. And then, yeah. then they had to fight each other. Yeah, that's right, but I cannot. <laughs> we are never going to not do that. Exactly. exactly. So, with that, Nannymon raises his hand up. Let the final match of the second round of the Rookie Cup begin. Let's open the digital gate. And with that, I would like Terriermon to give me a flight check as I roll one for Poncheslon. I want to know that Grayson is scanning this entire time. That's completely fine. So just let me know when I need to spend a token or do anything for that. 15. As Jeez. predicted, Terriermon is going first. <laughs> what? Beating the rules of chess, well, White would move first. So, with that said, uh, in this case, uh, Terriermon, just so you're aware, Ponchessmon White, uh, at least while, well, Grayson, you're looking at this, uh, is a virus type, because your analyze is still going up at this point. Really? While, as, just so long as he's looking, though. And... Uh, the highest strength set that you see, which I don't know if you can yell it out from here without it being considered foul play, uh, is you see Brawn is their strongest stat. Trip him up, buddy! <laughs> so, Terriermon, you're starting the order. Let's give it a go. Okay. Uh. Gonna start off with a Terrier Tornado. Just kind of bounce around the stage like a Beyblade and kind of bounce behind him and kind of knock him from behind. All right, very well. Go ahead and give me a... I assume you're doing this as a flight check, correct? Uh, yes. Would that be able to do damage or no? Uh, I would say... I mean, yeah, in this case, because... I mean, you've used it for damage com combats before, so in this case, we'll say yes. Uh, okay. Specifically because it's Terrier Tornado. So go ahead and give me your flight check. You will get a plus one on this one because it is vaccine versus virus. Flight check, and right? I... Yeah, flight, right? Flight check, yes. Okay, okay. So I have a plus two to that as well because of the two Ackman chips. So Teamon's just going to start kind of like spinning in place before he just starts pinging around the entire uh, place. Oh, no. It looks and like maybe, the... Maybe he gets right. too wild. It looks like the super duper Ayupa bounce. Alrighty. Yeah, exactly. Also, uh... eight's a weird number because if you look at the right <laughs> angle, it's infinity. <laughs> yes, yes it is in some cases, but in this case, we look at it as an 8. Grayson, I'm would you like to add any tokens to this? For this, I think no. I'm just going to take the L and the token. Very well. Well, we don't know if it's an L yet. Do a flat brawn check against this. He could eat shit. And that is a 14. He could have eaten so shit. you bounce around like a Beyblade, spinning across the entire stage in no time flat before you're going to try and impact from the back end of Von Jessmon White, who turns I like to see you see this coming! And holds up his buckler as you impact into it, and it kind of rings your bell a little bit as you step back, not spinning, just a little dazed. Oh no, he saw it coming! At which point, Von Jessmon White will slightly bow his head as he looks towards you. Let us make this a fair bout then, shall we? You're on spear! <laughs> And he's going to stab at you with his spear. We'll go ahead and do a fight check for him. He will take a minus one to this because virus versus vaccine. Periamon's more surprised that he can talk them from the attack. So that is with the minus one on there. That is a nine on his fight check. So either brawn to tank this or flight to get out of the way. I'm going to do a fight. Very well. Go ahead and roll me. This is, again, uh, I've already applied the bonus of uh, typing. So make sure to add your innocent eyes and your uh, oh, I am defense on this. I'm one. clad. So yeah, so you have to meet or beat a nine with your flight check. Oh yeah. So this is plus five. Correct. <laughs> so Tamon just kind of does a break dance, kind of duck, and just kind of spins is on, on his top, head. Is he on top of the spear? No, no, I don't think I rolled that well. So, Terriermon, you bend backwards Matrix style and begin spinning on your one horn, your ears <laughs> outstretched, as you're, like, pseudo break dancing away from the multiple spear points coming at you as you're moving your legs about to dodge it before you get enough distance backed away. <laughs> okay. It is now your go. It, uh, Grayson just looks over at ER like, he dances like you. Hey! With no <laughs> self-control. Excellent. Yes. He's uh, to go. So, <laughs> <laughs> it is your uh, So, uh, I'm going to try the Tarot Tornado uh, move again. 
All right, go ahead and give me your attack roll. You'll take a plus one on this one again because vaccine versus virus. Oh, wait. I forgot to add uh, innocent eyes, which gets added to attacks as well. Yep. Yes, it does. So be sure to do that moving forward. Yeah, so this is plus four in total. Correct. 16. All right, we'll go ahead and roll the brawn check for Pond Jessmon. And that is a 19 flat on their brawn check. Oh, my God! Damn as it. you once again, you're like, well, clearly he cannot be... <laughs> Clearly, he won't dodge it a second time as he slams his shield and sends you back flying on your butt. Aim like, oh, for dude. his speed stats! At I'm which point? I don't know what his bad stat is! <laughs> Just aim for anything other than that one! Okay, it's his best stat is Bond, he's gonna tank everything! <laughs> so, Bond Chessmon at this point is going to rush up towards you and throwing his shield forward goes. Pawn Buckler! And is going to try and smack you with that. Do down. He'll take a minus one to this. He exploded, so we have to roll it again. Oh, no! Do not! So with the minus one, that is a 20. Oh man, I can't believe his D4 exploded that many times. Uh. <laughs> so flights to uh, kind of get out of there, right? Yes, indeed. So and you have to meet or beat a 20. <laughs> I don't know, you've been really pushing me to try and use a different stat, man. I think I'm gonna try Brawn. No, fuck that. Uh, so... Oh, imagine that one was the one I... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, plus two from Ironclad Defense, plus one from Innocent Eyes, plus one from Vaccine, plus two from Flight. Oh, I already applied the Vaccine bonus. So plus... Yeah, I everything else that. I applied that to Ponchesmon, so, so you're adding your... Yeah. Plus five, then. Yes. Uh -oh. So this is 17. Grayson, are you adding anything? Three. All right, very well. And you see the shield incoming, and you hear Grayson call out from behind. Go for the legs or something! Dodge this! And okay. you turn to look back to Grayson. It causes you to lean back so much that you trip and fall on your butt, and the shield inches above your face as he pulls back. How dare you. What's the cunning strategy? Fall, fall, fall prone into the field. Tell your mind's a brilliant tactician. Okay, I see I I'm have you on the back foot, friend. I'm going to try something that I've never tried before. All right. Because it, it kind of worked out for Marjorie, I'm going to attempt a tail your punch. All righty, very well. This is a fight check for you, then. So yeah. go ahead and roll that. You'll add a plus one on this for your fight, because it's vaccine and versus virus. Uh, and a plus one from uh, Innocent Eyes. So Correct. Plus two. plus two on this chat. Well, that is a four. Okay, so can I read the, the description of Terrio Punch and why this Go doesn't ahead. work? Slaps the enemy with one of its ears. <laughs> Very well. Uh, I will go ahead and... Yeah, we'll roll, we'll roll Brawn on this one just for funsies. Are you sure? That is a seven. So you swing your ear up to impact into his head like he, he won't see this and it bink, just bounces off the helmet well I have an idea for next round agree much like I take back what I just said about Tyrion I'm being uh, cutting strategist right away is there a lot mod around here that wants to double typhoon with me <laughs> at which point Pawn Chessmon will go ahead and raise their spear up and slam it into the ground as they yell out Pawn Lightning and what? there is a shockwave that goes off from his spear point. I need you to make me a... Well, let's let's roll his fight check first. Okay, I have an idea. Actually, minus one on this one. All right, so you have to beat a one. <laughs> and I can roll flight? You can roll flight or brawn for this one. You have to beat a one. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to roll flight my mods and I just want to jump straight up into the air you jump straight up into the air as the shockwave goes off as it was hitting mostly at ground level which if you were standing normally from the ground up would have impacted you from like below the horn down but you jumped up straight into the air to dodge this as the impact goes off you're now up airborne what are you doing I want to drop onto his head and cover his eyes with my ears very well. I'd say go ahead and 
I'm trying to think of how to do this. I'd say roll me a brawn check for this. He will oh, roll a no. flight check in response to try and, like, shake you off. Okay. So go ahead and give me your brawn check first. You'll get a plus one on this one from vaccine versus virus, and a plus one on this one because it's an attack versus uh, defender, or innocent eyes. Yeah, innocent eyes. So set. All right, we'll go ahead and roll his flight check on this one. I'm going to add three to that. All right, so that's a ten. So you beat him because he get rolled a two. So you come down and clamp your ears over his visor to try and hold him from seeing anything. As it is his go, he is going to try and do his best to shake you off. And I'm gonna say I'm just gonna roll a flat, uh, it'll be another flight versus brawn check on this one. So his flight to try and shake you off, your brawn to try and just hold on. But so I we'll try his for grit. Uh, well, grit is more like mental fortitude at this case, okay. but I mean, how, how are you arguing this is more grit? I'll uh, take it if, you, if it's a good argument. Misinterpretation of the definition. Fair enough. Nah. So, I will go ahead and roll the flight check for Ponchesmon. He'll take a minus one to this because, again, of the typing advantage. I'd just like to say that I found Nick Let Me Cheat as a very convincing argument <laughs> that we should look into more. <laughs> Nick, I mean, here's, hey, my, here's my argument. You get the cheats. How come I so. don't get the cheats? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I've told you get this guys from the beginning if you believe another role is better suited from what I present to you and you make a good argument I'll let you have it that's why Terry Tornado is a flight check and not a fight check you guys uh, have always had this option no I, I know I know and I think I might have an argument for what I'm trying to do when we get to my defense role fair enough you have to meet or beat an 8 on your brawn check could I actually roll fight instead because of my intention? My intention is to uh, kind of like almost as you hold on like a chokehold because I'm trying to get him to use that AOE attack but center it on where I currently am so I can dodge at the last minute. You know what? I'll, I'll allow it. Go ahead and roll me a flight check. Or yeah, I'm sorry, a, lure... fight, a fight check. I stand corrected. I, I'm essentially trying to lure him into hurting himself. Very well, go ahead, and you have to meet or beat an 8 with your check. Alrighty. This is technically a defensive fight roll. Oh, well, in that case, Innocent Eyes will have turned that, brought that over an 8. So that meets it, so you are holding on as you're gripping onto the helmet of Pawn Chessmon White here, who is failing terribly at getting you off. It is now can't your hit go. Can't hit what you can't see! Um, I'm gonna take another page out of Majumon's book, and while I'm on top of here, I'm just gonna headbutt him. Alrighty, I will say, in yeah! this case, due to circumstantial, like, the way that things are going, I'll give you an additional plus one to this roll, because he's at a disadvantage with the sight and can't really defend himself. I'm gonna ask this now. I can't choke out a Digimon, can I? I mean, you could, but you've never tried. I mean, he's covered in all moves, my Yeah, we can't get to his neck. Yeah, it's a little hard to get to. You're currently just covering his eyes and just squeezing. He's got he's got that, like, plume caught off. Yeah. Just a bit, yeah. So, you're going ahead with a headbutt. I'd say, with your regular bonuses for your fight check, add an additional plus... Uh, you'll add your plus one for typing, and an additional plus one due to circumstantial bonus. And plus one for innocent eyes. Correct. So, plus three on your fight check for this. Oh, I do here we go. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll go ahead and roll the brawn check for this one as he can't really dodge. You. I want to add two to that. All right, then. So that is a 14. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, he rolled a one, so what happens? Oh! Um. Jeez, I didn't think I'd get this far. Uh, Terry much kind of knocks him in, in the head a few times, just like, because he's not good at headbutts. Alrighty, um, so <laughs> but just starts denting the helmet with, with one hit. So you go ahead and you start, like, hitting him with your head as you're trying to hold your ears over his visor, until eventually you aim your horn down with the impact of the headbutt, and you hear a ting and an impact as you look back and you see there is a pretty heavy dent in the helm of Pawn Chessmon White as they take two points of damage. I am not used to fighting like this. 
At which point, Pawn Chessmon is going to go ahead and we'll say this is a brawn check for him to try and pull you off of his head. He will take a minus one penalty to this, so we'll just roll flat for him. That is a 15 on his brawn check. It would be another brawn check on you to hold on. Could or I make a this fight a... check in this case yeah. where you're trying to like continue like death gripping him. Yeah, death grip. Just death so... by... I'm like that dog that's like, Master, don't go on a walk without me. I am on top of your shoes. So, yep, you have to meet or beat a 15. And this is defensive, right? This is a defensive fight roll, yes. Which rarely ever happens, but, you know. I'm a martial artist, it happens. So, go ahead and give me the check. Ah! So that is a 12 versus 15. So what I'm hearing is at 3. Very well. Do you have it? Yeah, I got, I, I spent the 3. Very well. So he's trying to, like, he at this point has dropped his spear to try and, like, reach up to grab at you. And you're just kicking with your little legs, like, no! Nah, never! Stop it! And he can't get a solid grip on you, especially because he doesn't have, like, dexterous fingers. fingers to be able to spread. He's just got the thumb and the one gripping glove, so he can't really get a solid grip on you with even one finger. Okay. That said, it is now your go. <laughs> Marjamon vs. Black Argumon. An intense fight of will and loyalty for one's friend. Trying to maintain one's own self control. Terramon vs. Pod just run white. Oh my god. <laughs> it's literally just grabs onto helmet. You can't get me. I'm up here. <laughs> okay, so he dropped his spear? He, just he has dropped his spear at this point because he's trying to grab you with his hand. <laughs> okay, so Storm, here's yeah. my idea. Do it. I, oh, you, you, don't you want to hear it? I, I feel like I know what you're going to do. You want to grab the spear and shank him? I want to grab the spear and tear your tornado and just act as a more powerful Beyblade and just kind of... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Even Very better than what I was planning. What I was expecting. Okay, I so want to... I would say... Bro, we share one brain cell. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead and give me a flight check. You'll get your regular advantages of plus one to typing, but also plus one for circumstantial because... You'll be using the spear on this case. <laughs> okay, and my other normal bonuses? And your normal, regular uh, attack bonuses for this, yes. Attack bonuses, okay, so, so that's... Two. So that's five total. Oh, wait, what? How? That is a one. <laughs> oh no! Plus five is six. So, Pawn Chess Pawn. Can I know what happened for Teriamon? I mean, I have to roll his brawn check first, okay. but is uh, is yeah. is Grayson adding any tokens to this? Don't, don't, man. No, don't wait. no. Very well. Let me roll Pawn Chessmon's brawn check first. So that is a 16 versus 6. So tell me what you believe, what, believe happened. So Terramon attempts to leap off in a dive roll. Like, tries to do like a shoulder roll to get to the spear. Immediately face plants. <laughs> so you jump off, diving like for the sphere. Oh, You're this is gonna look really cool! And you, Ow! bam, face plant into the ground. As Pawn Chessmon, at this point, picks up his spear, and now, seeing you on the ground, goes for an attack. Hold on, l let me just ask something. Would you rather lose to me or Mono Jaman? I believe you've sullied our duel enough. And he's going Sorry. to attempt to spear, uh, stab his spear at you while you are on the ground. Uh, he will, he will take a plus one for the circumstantial bonus of you being like face planted on the ground. So that'll oh, negate fuck. his the condition here. Bonus. So it'll be a flat fight check for him, and then you'll roll your either flight check to dodge or brawn to get away. Let's see what his fight <laughs> here we go. Time for another break dance. <sighs> so he got a two. <laughs> mm-hmm. So go ahead. You've sullied our duel enough. <laughs> <laughs> so he yeah, yeah. just starts break dancing again. So you start break dancing again as he's stabbing at you at the ground, impacting nothing but dirt as you're just dodging out of the way. It is now your go at this point, and you see that Pon Chessmon, though there isn't really a visual indicator of his emotions, you can almost see like a furrowing of his visor, like he's just upset. That might just be the dent. It could be the dent, you're not sure. So, first of all, the table's like, eh, eh, 
<laughs> Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God dang it. So, can I attempt a Terrier Tornado literally right under him to try and yeet him into the air and bring him back down? Because nothing I'm try. doing is hurting him. I gotta leverage physics. Sure, go ahead and give me a flight check. Uh, he'll be using brawn on this one. Make sure to add your appropriate bonuses, including your type yeah. advantage. Hmm. This Dex versus strength, a tale as old as time. I only have to hit you once, Dex nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I have another idea that is just desperate, but I don't know if I'm there yet. So go ahead and give me your flight check first as you try to knock him into the air. All right, so that is a 17. Fly, motherfucker! Uh, uh, no, it's not a 17. It's a 20. Very well. We'll go ahead and roll the brawn check for Pon Chessmon. That is a 12. So you send a terrier tornado underneath Pon Chessmon, and he, at first, you're like, he's not getting any altitude. You're like, come on, lift, dang it. And... Suddenly, his feet carry just enough off the ground to get him slightly airborne before the tornado takes off and send him zooming into the sky. Oh, thank goodness. To the point where he almost reaches the top of the dome surrounding your arena before he comes back down and clatters onto the ground. If Ringouts were allowed, I would have won this by now. And at which point you look over and he's not getting back up. What? And Nanimon makes his way over, like, kind of jumping down from the stands to look over at Pon Jesmon. He lifts up the visor, gives, like, a, like, like gruesome face before he puts the visor back down. Winner by knockout! Terriermon! Oh, because we got more than ten! Yeah! Oh, I thought he was going to get back up! No, you knocked him up into the air to the point where he took collateral damage. I totally, back down. I totally forgot I did. I know you planned, bro. <laughs> no, I, I totally forgot I did one point of damage. Prone may be a condition, but fall damage is a thing. <laughs> so, with that, oh my goodness, we'll go ahead. Tamar just and... panting. It's like, I'll be real. I was about to be fired directly into that visor. Oh. Nannymon points up at the big screen. Let's take a look at the results for the current matches of the Rookie Cup. And the board comes up, and Von Jessmon is knocked further back down, and Terriermon advances to the semifinals. Oh, there you have it, folks! Our four competitors for the semifinals of the Rookie Cup! Stay tuned for tomorrow when that takes place! And there is a roar of applause as eventually the crowd settles down, and he calls out, We'll now be preparing the stadium for the next set of matches with the start of the second round of the Champion Cup. I hope you're ready, because after yesterday's matches, I can only imagine how today's are gonna go. Stay tuned, folks! And you see there is a bit of cleanup beginning to take place of the arena from all of the various matches from the Rookie Cup. As Terriermon, you make your way back to the VIP section with everybody else. Dude, good job! Yeah, piece of cake. I had that right where I wanted him. Do you need healing at all? Or are you good? Actually, I'm not hurt at all, actually. I'm, the only thing that's wounded is my pride. Dex nerds, for the win! Yeah! High five. High five. Uh, did I see oh, any oh, weirdness oh, while I was scanning? Uh, no, you didn't see any weirdness going on during the fight. So, gotcha. as far as you're aware, that was a pretty clean fight. <laughs> okay, guys, so that fight was clean. There was no uh, Tom Fool. Good to know. <laughs> uh, the just like, so we need to worry about Tom, too. <laughs> Excellent. I have never heard of this Tom, but that just means he's that much more elusive than a standard opponent. Agreed. Okay, so things to know for this fight coming up. Aizmon's up first, right? Yep. As you say this, you feel a bump from behind, and you look back to see a very familiar looking face. Oh, hi, how's it going? I, as I was saying, ah! that, that looks down at you. Out of the way, I have a job to do. 
And what would that be? Winning this tournament. Nothing with Windigomon? Perhaps your dreams are getting a little inventive. Keep your eyes on him during the fight. And on Hyandramon if you can. At which point Eismon begins to make their way out of the VIP booth and towards their section of the fight. Grace, do we have eyes? Uh, do we have eyes on... Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, do we have eyes on Windigomon? For Windigomon, you do not have eyes on Windigomon. You're not too sure where exactly it is that they've wandered off to. Maybe he's in the basement. Uh, just a quick question about the Holy Ring. How wide is it? Uh, for the size, uh, yeah. at least for you, it would be about... I'm trying to think like, I'm trying it. to figure out if I can, like, slip it around my wrist as, like, a bracelet. Oh, you absolutely could, but it would be very, very loose. Like, it wouldn't be the point where it's, like, a normal bracelet where, like, oh, it'll catch at, uh, the end of your wrist before it goes into your fist. Like, it would slide off if you, like, dangled your hand to the side. Grace is just gonna, like, slide up to his forearm, so it's just, like, sticks there, like, hold his sleeve there, just... Have it at the ready in case there's one, like, it falling out of his pocket at this point, knowing that it seemed to have some kind of effect on Aizmon. Fair enough. Just so. Just yeah, go ahead. Just looking at the combatants, I just, for some reason, feel like playing Okami. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very Okami-looking fight. I'll be God, honest. Finish that. We've got a fox versus a being of darkness. If this isn't a Madarasu versus Yomi, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> but with that said, the stage is now reset, and High Andromon makes his way out at this point. Mons from across the realm. Thank you again for joining us for the set of tournaments. We will now begin the second round of the Champion Cup. I hope you will be thoroughly entertained by these set of matches. I know I'm looking forward to them. Before he gives a bow and makes his way back to his seat. Is it too late to place money on Aizmon? <laughs> You're gonna put a bet on Aizmon winning or losing? Winning. Because <laughs> if they're going to cheat, we might as well exploit that. <laughs> Fair enough. So, how much are you betting on Aizmon? A thousand. A thousand for a bet on Aizmon. Okay, would anyone else like to put anything for this round? Grace and Morley abstains. Does everyone want to do anything with my wallet? Absolutely. <laughs> no. How much you got? You can take a thousand when I'm not looking. <laughs> I'll no, tell you I wouldn't do that to you. Tell you I wouldn't would do that to you. I'll put in do that to three thousand. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that is another three thousand bits from Riot in the hopes that. Uh, who are you planning on winning this? Eismon? Oh, absolutely. Or Repamon, because. <laughs> no, 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 Eismon. This Alrighty. is where we get fucked over. All righty. I'll put so. in six hundred for Ryan. 600 for Reiner, and who are you betting for? Eyes, on the one. Okay. <laughs> as soon as the competition starts, they hear from the hallway a Goonimon. What the heck are bits? <laughs> like, <laughs> arguing with the guy trying to place the bet. Like, no, I just want money for when this guy wins. <laughs> but, but then I might lose things. I can't put money in if not knowing the outcome. I just want money if I'm right. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, don't, I don't get this. <laughs> doesn't understand how gambling works. Yeah, a game just does not get it. It's like, but I know I'm gonna win. Like, whatever. <laughs> so with that said, after the stands are reset, everyone has their bets in. Everyone keep an eye on your bets, by the way, to make sure how much you're winning or losing. So. God damn, I forgot to put in money for Majumon and Terry. Emphasis on or losing. <laughs> so, with that, Nannymon kind of brings everyone's attention. We'll now begin the first match of the second round for the Champion Cup. I hope you're ready for some exciting matches, folks. This match will contain Repamon versus Aizmon. So far from what we've seen, Repamon's been an incredible competitor so far. But from Aizmon, 
They seem to have gotten a pretty easy win. Will their streak continue? Let's find out. Let's open the digital gate. And I'm scanning. At which point, sure enough, uh, who are you scanning specifically? Eismon. Fair enough. Eismon. I'm, I'm not going to spend the token. I'm going to do the brains check. Very well. Go ahead and give me a brain check. We're going to set the DC to, I'm going to set it to 12. Fair enough. So, beware my power green legends light. Doing a more examined scan at this point, uh, you realize that Eismon, sure enough, is a virus. Uh, and you realize that their highest stat at this point uh, is charm. Ethan's relaying all that to the group. And I'm keeping eyes on him for any weirdness of his data or tactics or anything. Very well. So with that, the match begins, and Repamon comes out incredibly aggressive, swinging away with claws and tail, just slashing away, which seems to just kind of be going through Eismon as they're kind of cackling away. My turn, little fox. At which point, they are going to shine their eyes at Repamon, who, at first, pauses, and you see their body hold still. And as Eismon begins to raise their hand up, you see Repamon put up their paw before it places back down and rushes at Eismon, who looks startled as a heavy slash from their tail impacts into Eismon's body. It seems to have not been more uh, elusive than the rest. As he holds back, kind of clutching at that part of his body, he looks over to Repamon, who just smiles and with their paw points at the mask, which sure enough you see has no eye slits. <laughs> Before Eismon just growls. Fine. We'll do this the fun way. At which point their body dissipates into the shadows. And you see multiple eyes scatter across the ground. And as Repamon is kind of looking around trying to scan, you see that they're getting small impacts as lasers from the various eyes are impacting into Repamon's body. They're not doing a lot of damage, but the damage is stacking up fast. Until eventually, as Repamon continues to swipe out at the eyes, dissipating most of them, Eismon reappears in its full body, coming down with a large claw that slashes at Repamon, who collides to the ground. I recommend you don't get up. Winner by knockout, Eismon! Let's go to the board, folks. And sure enough, making their way into the semifinals. Eismon is there. Who could have foreseen this? So Sukumon, who... it's all up to you. So for everyone Get who him, for Eismon to win, go ahead and take your bits. <laughs> as I go ahead and get us prepared for the next set of matches. How much more is it? Is it double or? It is whatever you put in as the bet. So if you put in 500, you're getting 500. Oh, okay, so you should have time more, okay. Ogunimon goes up to the tell, like, and you, he continues to argue with the guy. Um, like, I told you he was going to win. Like, why didn't you <laughs> give me money? I, I didn't bet because I don't have money. That's why I need to bet. If Ogunimon we'll, we'll tell him how this needs works some later. money, I can easily give it to him now. <laughs> That's true. No, no, know, that's, that, that's your money. That wouldn't be right. It. Now listen, sir. <laughs> Ariamon's just like looking at Ohai. It's like, I, no, I've been told not to. No. <laughs> so, at this point, we'll go ahead and get ourselves ready for the next match. And we'll bring ourselves back over here. Coming in for the second round. For the second match of the second round of the Champion Cup. After winning a nice tough and brawl battle against a muscly opponent, let's see how he faces this time. It's Fangman! And there are some cheers coming from Boo. Fangman's side, who is being, putting a nice big grin on his long snout. And in the other corner, the dark horse of the Champion Cup, Sukumon. <laughs> and Sukumon comes out and... You see on the bulletin board as like, there's like a camera that shows as the different opponents are making their way in. You see that there is a blur over Circumon's hand who is faced directly at Nanimon, giving a very rude gesture. 
<laughs> Caroline's on the window again, just shouting profanity at him. <laughs> hey guys, uh, after this, do we want to try to find Black Agumon? See if we can like interrogate him, like, cause he, this I would, yeah. Wow, Majumon said he had like one of those shields. Maybe he might know he... something. Yeah, like, cause right now we need intel to want to do anything. Yeah, let's... yeah, let's get him. I want to know who who's the one that put gave him that stuff. No one yeah, could have you... gotten it himself. If you guys want to keep watching the fights, me and Majumon can get can can snag him. Uh, maybe bring like I don't know one of the others. Who's I mean who on fighting? Dusk Mon, you, you can go, right? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say bring like the scariest guy here. It's okay, I already have Majmon, who's the champion of the champions. Yeah. I can't believe he thinks Sister Mon you want that's I mean in all all honestly here, uh, Grayson, I don't think Sister Mon knew all is that scary. No offense, Sister Mon, you're a terrifying <laughs> opponents. At which point you'll you'll see Sister Mon Noir give like and uh, at first a frown followed by just a smile and just like turn their head up at you. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, she's going to kick your ass in the fight. <laughs> oh yeah, she is. But, uh, but yeah, don't worry. Hope to I meet got... you in the semifinals, at Goonimon. It'll be a fun time. Yeah, you have guns. I got fists. Uh, and don't we'll worry. see what is clearly superior. Yeah. Uh. I... I was gonna say, I got duct tape. As soon as we find Black Argamon, just gonna wrap him up. Very well. So, like an airline we... passenger. Exactly. Anyone making any bets on this fight? <laughs> uh, I feel like Sukumon has plot armor, but I'm not willing to put my money towards that. <laughs> yeah, he always the... dumb enough to. I'll put I... one bit on Sukumon. I don't one want bit. my hubris to bite me. So, all right. So, so I'm nothing you. but. 2,000 on Sukumon. 2,000 on Sukumon. One on Sukumon from Riot. Anyone else putting anything in? Sammy? No, I think I'm good. I'm going to hold on to She's these. too young. She's... <laughs> I also think because Sammy's never actually interacted with Sukumon, so... You shouldn't be asking it's a... a child to make a shit bet like that. Sammy, okay. let me explain. This is Sukumon. We hate him. Okay, so there's some backstory here, and Grayson's going to do everything he can to PG -E the version of it. Of like, we fought poop monsters. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, maybe I will put some on the other guy then, uh, and I'll if... put 200 down. You guys are betting for Sukumon, so do you want him to win, or what's going on? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. They're betting for Sukumon. Sammy's like, I'll bet for the other guy because clearly we don't want him to win. No, he's he's formidable. Don't don't do it, Sammy. <laughs> and whoever wins, some of us will get money, right? Like that's how it works. I guess. Cool. Sure. We're right now, e right now, e is like, I just have no faith that the universe is on our side. <laughs> <laughs> well, Look, this guy will fight Windy Gomon and win. So, that is one bit from Riot. How many from ER again? 2K. 2,000 from ER. And Sammy, how much are you putting in on Fangmon? Uh, 200, please. 200 on Fangmon. All right, keep that in mind for how much you might be losing or gaining <clears throat> for all sides. At which point, Nannymon will raise his hand up, and you see that his heart is really not in this fight as he looks over towards Fang Fangmon with a smile and looks over to Sukumon with a grimace. Hey, well, folks, let's open up the second match of the second round. Let's open the digital gate! <laughs> and the gates open, and they start going at each other. Fangmon is a little, like, nervous at first, because he's like, my whole thing is biting down on people. I would rather not bite into a living pile of poop. This feels like a problem. <laughs> Until Sukumon takes the initiative and begins throwing out pile after pile of these pink globs. Mm. And Fangmon is very easily dodging out of the way of these until he realizes there's only one little spot that he's standing on that doesn't have that pink poop area, like, blocked in. 
and Zukamon comes in, like, galloping on his two arms. Gotcha now! And comes in with an uppercut to Fangmon's jaw that sends it reeling backwards. Oh no, he's 70% jaw! Before Fangmon comes down with a stare and just decides, screw it, opens their jaws wide and clamps down on Sukumon, who is at this point just wailing his hands against the snout, trying to get him to open. Before you see his eyes open wide and a even more devious grin come on Sukumon's face before he takes a deep breath in and oh, no. lets out a breath or maybe a belch, you're not sure, into Fangmon's throat. Oh, no. <laughs> who opens wide immediately and starts hacking away before slipping on all of this pink goo. And you see Sukumon come down with one of the larger bits above him of pink goo, slamming it down on Fangmon before Fangmon, with corkscrews in his eyes, is out. So here's my head cannon. Nick has this really awesome OC of Sukumon that he's like, oh man, I really love this character, but I have no way to express it. Pyro came up to him like, hey, Nick, I want to do a D&D game. And now we're all subject to watch <laughs> this man win at every turn while we all suffer. Would it make <laughs> would it make you feel any better if I actually told you this was on flat D20 rolls and Sukumon <laughs> just kept fucking rolling high? <laughs> No, I, I'm just fucking with you, man. It's a fun way to say the plot armor is there. So, it just wasn't that. you who gave him the plot armor. I would <laughs> say slow it makes it worse. I think that actually makes it worse. Because it means the universe wants Sukumon to win. I know. Probability so, wants him to win. Nanny man, man again with a heavy I... sigh. Winner by knockout. Sukumon. And there's trash being thrown at the arena, which is bouncing off of the barrier. But you see Sukumon is just <laughs> lapping it up, just like waving his arms in like, I'm the best. No, he's cool. Let's make him stronger. As I we go over to wait. the board. I can't wait for Sukumon to fuck up Aizumon. And it is <laughs> Sukumon that makes it into the semifinals. We'll go ahead and get everything all set up now for ER takes his winnings he takes his winnings and goes we gotta take him out <laughs> Grayson so with that... tries to sleight of hand some bits into Sammy's cause he's like bum she lost I'm just trying to refuse to take the extra one bit I just that want back what I put in but sir <laughs> you won <laughs> Doesn't feel that it's way. It's tainted. <laughs> but you plant. You wanted. To, you clearly. You bet on this to win. <laughs> I was but hoping anyway. that I'd be able to reverse bad luck. It. <laughs> Teriamon so is that... on the window, and he's just like foaming at the mouth with swear words. Like, <laughs> uh, how? Uh, do I need to roll anything to sneak money into Sammy's device? I mean, it's a transfer system, so it's not really a sleight of hand thing. Oh, it's cool. Like... Uh, Sammy, you have. Uh... An extra 1,200. Wow. wow. <gasps> That's so much money. Yeah. So with that, I have a lot. Uh, Agunimon, <laughs> you realize that it is you up next for the third match of the second round. All right. You guys want to go look for Black Agumon while I'm doing this? Uh, Yeah, we can handle that. Cool. This isn't going to take me too long. <sighs> you do want to right, well. bud? Yeah, just uh, thinking. Well, think of how hard you can hit him. I know how hard he can hit. <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> God. Very good. So, Agunimon, you begin to make your way uh, to your battle area <laughs> to prepare mm -hmm. for the fight. And as you are prepping yourself, getting ready to go, we're going to go ahead and go to our first break. Hey! Oh. Those fights were like epic. <laughs> oh my god! god. 
So, <laughs> Yo, Mon was fighting for his fucking life, and Mon actually got his ass here to him, and it is still shame. rose above all else. Oh my it god, that was amazing. It is a shame that my, uh, that my forced Monodramon to Digivolve plan didn't work out, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, should I not have added those tokens? <laughs> oh no, it's fine. It's even, no, it's even better, because here's the thing. Those grit rolls that I was making you have, if you had three failures, I would have forced the Digivolution, regardless of bits, or regardless of tokens. Oh. And made Monodramon cheat. For shame. Yeah, I was, I, I was like saying, like, I would have, I would have evolved if it wasn't the rookie cup. Like, <laughs> look, I know, I know you absolutely would have, but the, we, the point was to try and get you to break. I thought we all agreed uh, he, Dual Jamon was too broken to use. Honestly, yeah, yeah you know what? That yeah, is the case. However, uh, Black Algamon's a cheater, so. Oh, yeah, oh, it's that. true. It's true. Cheater, cheater. I had Parking thought we eater. banned listed Duo Dramon, but that's we, true. Cheater, cheater, or, Parking Eater. Or we'd at least put him to limited to one. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, his appearance. <laughs> I, I just want to say, if Strike Shabon showed up, it would have been that scene in, in the Dark to Tournament of Yu Gi Oh! in uh, Yu Yu Hakusho where uh, Yoko Kurama shows up. <laughs> oh my oh god. god, yeah. Honestly. That would have been yeah, just tough fucks. If that, by that logic, Dustmon is dragging up the Darkest Flame, hands down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that implication because that also means that Strike Shabon will have fucked up Vic Manana. <laughs> she shit. Should I should I have given Black Agamon more of a nasally voice? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe then I wouldn't have, have given those tokens. <laughs> Maybe then I would have let him fail the grit check. <laughs> but that said, you know, hey, it is what it is. You 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 managed to manhandle your way through my uh my little puzzle, my, right. my little ruse. But we uh, solved said, your really... Agumon puzzle. I've solved your riddle, Puzzle Master. <laughs> Solve your riddle, Yo-Yo Master. Oh, that's it, yo -Yo man. To take their uh, bio break, now's the time. Oh yeah, gotta take a bio. Burp. I'm gonna get more drink. I'm gonna get a water, holy shit! What the hell was all that? <laughs> so much happened. We got through all of the rookie tournament very fucking quickly. Burn oh. straight through it, we did. That we did. Oh, oh boy. Which means it's going to be very fun for uh, when we get to the semifinals of the Rookie Cup because that means it's going to be a another rivalry bout of Monodramon versus Terriermon. We didn't realize there was a rivalry here, but now there is. I have planned. My God. There's a Regro in the chat. Hello, my boy. Hello, oh, Regro. <laughs> well, Adam, what said you my plan for Terriermon versus Monodramon? Okay. Because oh. th that's going to be hard for me. That's my boy versus my boy. I mean, it's gonna be hilarious because it's uh, it's it's a it's gonna be another speed versus brawn battle, which is gonna be so bad. Oh, it's gonna be so rough. You sure about this plan? Uh oh, that's dangerous. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that is an idea. Oh. But yes, hello everyone with chat. I'm glad you are all here enjoying uh, yeah, all the I, things. Yeah, I think, <laughs> think, think uh, Majima and Terumon can do DNA Digivolve. Do you think that's the thing they can do, Ed? Yeah, that sounds you right. Do you think they can just take the semifinal by joining together? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's not even going to be an actual Digivolution. It's just going to be Terumon on uh, Majima's shoulder. Exactly. And they're just going to be piggybacking the whole time. It's like, if you knock what, what was that? off, that means you win. Yeah. What's that Lego type Digivolution that was invented after I stopped watching? Uh oh. <laughs> Bionicles. Yes. Anyway, I got a bio freak. We have back. I don't believe in you. You go get him. Go get him, champ. Uh, now, that'll be a good time when we actually get to that match. Assuming we get to that match. We'll, we'll have to see. Depending on what you guys do, the tournament may or may not continue. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything's great. There's nothing bad that could terribly happen. Looks over at the person in charge of the tournament slash the t the entire area. Oh, hey, hi, Antramon. How are you today? You're looking a lovely shade of red. Is your one shoulder always purple? No. Riot just what are you slowly <laughs> amassing ridiculous amounts of bits. So how much to buy late entry into the tournament? Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am absolutely kidding. No, I, I think it'd be funny. I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah, I'd like my... to enter the tournament when we're at the championship. Uh, I'd like to mind. come in as like a special guest. <laughs> I'd like to fight whoever got to third place and take bronze myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
It's, it's like only when fair. you put coins into an arcade machine and it's like, here comes a new challenger. <laughs> it's like I didn't realize that was the tournament rules, but here we are. <laughs> Returned. I know you're all I'm so, so ecstatic. Welcome back. Thank you. We're Thank in. You. you know what? This is now the ecstatic desert. <laughs> we're all so happy. We're all having such a good time. I think Having we have to take out time. High Andromon first. <laughs> and then the okay. desert deep digivolves into the ecstatic desert. We got a go. we got a regrow in the chat saying y'all nerds oh. have fun with your digi dungeons. Thank you, we will. Yes, we're having a good old time. Well, that was a I'm question. Sure they're having, they're, they're well, having a good perhaps time, one day we will. <laughs> oh, we are. It's a good time. By God, I hope so. Ah. <laughs> uh. But now, how's everybody enjoying, uh, at least in chat, how's everyone enjoying the results so far of both the uh, the Rookie Cups, uh, now semi-final competitors, as well as what's currently been going on with the Champion Cup? What are your guys' thoughts on that so far? I'd tell, love to see tell that. Tell me all about chat. it. Yeah, tell me, friends. I'd like to know. I'd love to, love to hear your thoughts on the matter. I love the little waiting music. It's very nice. I'm glad I found <laughs> a lot of this. I'm also glad that I found some good music for uh, the tournament, both for the hype before mm -hmm. the fight and the actual fight itself. Yeah, heck yeah. I, it, I, I had to go digging. I had to really go digging. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in chat's like, Sukumon sweep. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not no. getting the chant started. The chant staying behind. We're leaving it to die. <laughs> Wait, what? Was he meant to die? Uh, the uh, Sukumon sweep. Oh, no. <laughs> also, guys, I'm going to post uh, my plan for uh, Terriermon in the uh, Secret Strategy chat. Perfect, perfect. Boy, I look forward to not seeing it because I won't be seeing it. <laughs> It'll be very funny when she's like, all right, guys, I'm putting it in the chat that we use that Nick is not allowed to see. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, it's, it's our close. Ocean's Eleven chat, except the problem is we don't have anything to heist right now. Actually, it's called uh, uh, Ocean's Digital. It's Ocean's Digital. That's fucking That's true. great. That's true. I love how we basically had the freaking heist theft episode, and it had nothing to do with that chat. We had no plan, and we just all kind of kept trying to throw things at the wall to get in. <laughs> we all just have bullshit. We all just Moon Knight in that one panel. Run a bullshit, go! Random bullshit, <laughs> go! <laughs> that I need to take out a few individuals that are, uh... I've had a few tabs up extra just to keep track of uh, people's abilities for combat, and I have one ready for the next bout. Hooray! <laughs> because Likewise. it'll be a fun one. <laughs> Call me, I'm just gonna eat leftover birthday cake. <laughs> All I Go hear is Nick taking. saying, with that, I need to take out a few individuals. Did Nick just casually call a hit? <laughs> Nick just like, yeah, I have to, I have to pull out a, uh, I have to pull out all of the different abilities and things that different Digimon have, right? <laughs> Fire's just like, did, did you just pull the grudge? <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. It's been so long. Uh, let's see. Jaguar96 in chat is like, Nick, can you pick an even creepier voice for Eismon? I need to have him as my sleep paralysis demon. Honestly, <laughs> I was looking through voice mod for a bunch of different mods, and the one I ended up on for Eismon, I think is the best I could have come up with. <laughs> There's not a lot, because all the other mods that I want to use that might be creepier, I have for other characters. <laughs> I'm going to be real. That's terrifying. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> that voice is the reason that I think that he is more than meets the eye right now. Like, <laughs> I I judge a villain by how intimidating they are, and like Eismon 
is up here, up at the top, and then High Andromon is a bit below him. Fair enough. Oh my God! You think uh, holy shit! Shaking me to my core. <laughs> Here's oh, Osmond's I... voice once. I need to go lie down. How, don't take, don't, I hope I don't don't take this the wrong way. I hope this is like the, your thing with like CJ, where you're like, ah, oh, called it, but in reverse. Because High Angemon is a mega now. If Eismon is worse, then we're fucked. Literally. <laughs> it's not so much that. Because he has room to go stronger. It's not so much I think he's going to be worse in the sense that, like, he's stronger. I think he's unfor. Like, I, I think he's going to prove to be a reoccurring threat to us. Which would be fun. Uh, this could be Potentially. both. Yeah, why not both? Por que no los dos? Because we're gonna kill him. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen? No one has any yeah, idea. Yeah, because he's what gonna kill us. Go on. <laughs> I have guys. Since my back guys, though. don't worry. Sukumon's got this. I wouldn't put all our eggs in that basket. I mean, you wouldn't. You lost your money. Yeah, that's true. Is, guys, <laughs> is everyone back? Uh, Grimothy. Oh, oh, he just came back. Oh, the prophecy. Welcome back, everyone. I'm glad you're all here. It's been so long. It's been such a long time. <laughs> we should do the uh, the donation. Yeah, let's go through them donos. Yeah, uh, I didn't get to do anything. <laughs> Damn. Well, Don't worry, sorry. two of us. One is looking for Black Agumon. <laughs> True. Just in time. All right, let's get through a couple of these donations. Thanks again, everybody who donated. Yeah, we appreciate uh, you all very, very much. <laughs> yeah. First one is from Fierce DD Link, who donated $30, saying to everyone, voice request for Wizardmon saying, objection. All right, hold on. Gary. Okay, getting, getting into the right kind of tone of voice. Objection. Uh, very well done, very well done. <laughs> yes, yes. And the guy explodes. Ah, <laughs> just I, I, I just feel the emotion. Oh. Very well. And with that, so... that's uh, six tokens to anybody that needs tokens. Who uh, needs EO tokens? Is, EO is empty. Okay. It's a fairly good case for needing some tokens. Grace Anyone else has... need tokens? I have one. Oh. Right, okay. Very well, then you will take a token. Uh, what about everybody else? <laughs> are those the only I two people that are missing any? Yeah, so. <laughs> the only ones who been up to, to Okay, him. both of you get three. <laughs> that'll that'll be it's easy. Like, what do you think is a tournament? Only two people got. I have figured. I just wanted to double check. Uh, all right. So then, yeah, you get you each take your three tokens. Thank you so much for your steady link. Next much up, <laughs> we have uh Sarah Sage one eight nine who's who donated sixty dollars, saying, "I don't know. Y'all choose. Leftovers go to Van Mon." Also, even though I was for the opposite team, I still love Angstmon. I mean, Duskmon. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's my god. Slide evolution into Angst Goonimon. <laughs> Angst -Goonimon. Just a recolor of a Goonimon to but perfectly black. portray their rivalry. Exactly. <laughs> well, all black. Just monochrome. And then, <laughs> and then a Goonimon slide digivolves into Dawnmon. Ah, oh, yeah. Just Duskmon, but white. Yep. <laughs> Those are the new who ultimate levels. Of course. That's uh, how so that that's, goes. Uh, that's twelve tokens, so six to each of you, since you both still have some space for them. Yeah. Very Heck well. Yeah. From there, we have I'm guilty uh, about being the only ones. How dare you? This is so rare that Storm and I are the only ones taking tokens. Well, you guys were <laughs> the first in the. You guys were the only ones that admitted yourselves into the rookie cup. So this is what happens. Uh, next up is Naked Phantom Games who donated five dollars and says, under the assumption that all players are full, this token goes to Nick. Have fun, everyone. They are you right. they, all players are not full though, so <laughs> the one time. Right, so, now you think the one choice. so now I must choose. Let's see. That will Give go to seven. ER in order to tie you both up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Bada boom. Quiz. Uh, Next up, we have Sarah Sage one eight nine, who uh, actually this one this one's labeled for now. I don't know why the last one wasn't labeled. I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway, this one is from actually uh, Bad Sage Advice. I don't know why sometimes Bad Sage Advice things doesn't 
go through. Sometimes it does. I don't know what's going on. Uh, this one's Bad Sage Advice. Donated $5 saying, for Beach Ken Barbie, which is, I believe, Nick. I believe yes. that's me. So <laughs> yeah. congrats on your on your Because he lives on the beach. Sublime! <laughs> Thank you, Abs. You cannot. Preach. Uh from there. Uh double checking this. Alright. Uh is from uh King Ad Zero doing eighty five dollars saying Kumbaya, agent of uh fine line 4chan humor ad here. I got nothing. Here's $5. I had a to I have a token for Vanmon, but I left it in a black BMW in the scorching sun, which also had a charred corpse of a Tanamon in it. Oops, teehee. Regardless, have fun. Well, I guess that's a token for Vanmon directly. <laughs> Good job, Vanmon. You did it. You killed a right. Tanamon for it. Look, if, and, if, if uh, Vanmon's not the MVP out of all of this, like... The last one that I'll read is... Uh is an interesting one, because this is the one from Topher. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> and I might have saved this donation, if not for the message it contained. Uh-oh. Which is $300, saying, oh. for the for the Digiman himself, Nick, I hope shenanigans no. ensue. Well, you no. can give one token to the van, I guess. I don't want the van feeling lonely. <laughs> oh, my God. So that is one token for the van and 59 for your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love Why do you Fiona. hate us? <laughs> Don't be you mad lad. <laughs> <laughs> everyone know everyone hates Mondramon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's not true at all. Oh, they're af man. they're just afraid ah. that he's going to turn into Duodramon. They're afraid Nick's that like... if we give Mondramon too much power, he will break the game. <laughs> I love how everyone's yeah, like Nick is like God trying to test trying to test. Hey Grayson, can it. you roll to hack the inspiration point? <laughs> I I would, but I'm confident I will not hit a four. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, oh we my God, in this case, uh like, in this case, the case, Mono, Mono Dramon is Job, unfortunately. <laughs> we are taking yeah, You want me to kill my own son? I was Topher. just kidding, bro. I was just kidding. <laughs> Topher, Topher just posted a smiley face in chat. You, you smug bastard. I love Good, you. As it should be. <laughs> All things are right with Topher. Topher, I want you to know you are the real BBEG. It's true. It's true. It's, it's true. Topher, man. <laughs> oh, no. now, I, now I have to go and contact Carlo again. <laughs> oh, shh. Uh, Tophermon, aka I ain't here no Belmon. <laughs> I ain't here no Bell. <laughs> and uh, with that, I think we'll probably uh, we'll read the rest of the nations at end of session. Yeah, we'll hold okay. for now because everybody else has other things to do. So uh, that said, if we're ready to transition back, unless you got something else. Well, uh, part yeah, of uh, the one thing that I normally do, but in a different flavor, right quick. Chat, I did say I would do this. So hey, hey, sport. How you doing? I just want you to know I'm proud of you. Aww. Okay. No matter how hard the day gets, you know what? You're you're out here, you're you're giving it your all, and I I'm gonna come to your sports ball game. Don't emphasize that like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I ruined your very nice moment. Continue. I will show up to your sports ball. I just game. ate a bunch of Taco Bell. <laughs> I did actually. Oh no! You're not gonna see me in an hour. I'll be I'll be in the porta potty, but I was there at your game. I just wasn't. I'll be there. living there. For the next I was few days. somewhere at the game. <laughs> anyway, if you didn't see me, that's your fault. Also, sorry, sport. Also, Buckaroo, if you happen to see anyone in chat who doesn't know how things go during the streams, you let them know. We don't interact with chat during the streams. It's not because we don't care about you. It's because you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the and fact with, that like uh, we try and keep it an engaging experience. So when game is on, we're just playing into the game. But if you see anybody who's asking, being like, hey, I'm trying to get their attention. Just let them know, hey, only during the breaks. We love you guys for 
interacting and keeping the community fun. So we appreciate you. Uh, just wanted to say that sincerely. Thank you. Of course. And with that, we can make our way back to game. Wahoo! Also, oh, before we go off the chat, no, that was Storm. Blame him for that. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was me. <laughs> So, I, I I hear some I see people like Red. What the fuck? I'm like, no, wrong twin. <laughs> God, if if, if someone ruins the moment, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we make our way back, the <clears throat> stage is set, the arena is cleared. Agunimon, you have made your way over to your corner, ready for the fight. He's just standing, arms crossed, just, um, like, looking intense, trying to psych out his opponents. Riot's gonna very quickly put place a bet on Agunimon. How much are you betting? 10k. Oh! -ho! Well, I can't damn. wait to let you down! I, I... <laughs> we will have to see how this goes. But, that said... I came to announce that I formally withdraw from the competition. <laughs> no. Right, just like, I, I, I I'm like, lost. I didn't put it in yet, I didn't put it in yet. <laughs> no, 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 you can't take, you, you can't do this to me. Do you know how much I've sacrificed? <laughs> so. Oh man, he's, oh, he's going to be so proud, I found another Like way. flashback to Terriermon and the Fedora. You're going to take a fall, you see? <laughs> You're going <laughs> to not ride it on this tourney. You're going to rig the fight, see? I want Gladimon to fight against System on Noir, see? <laughs> So, I got a lot riding on this. I need to make Gladiator look like an idiot. So, Agunimon, you stand there in your corner. Nanimon calls out. We'll now begin the third match of the second round of the Champion Cup. In our first corner, after a devastating back-to-back -back battle in the first round, I can only imagine to see how things are going to go for this competitor. Standing in the red corner, Agunimon! And the crowd roars. You've got a, a lot of fans. A Grimo just ignites around him with like flames like a Super Saiyan or... He must get the glow sticks out again. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> and in the blue corner, a swift competitor. One who was able to have quite a nice back and forth as well in their match. A knight who slayed a dragon. Let's see how these two warriors match up. It's Glimon! And there is an equal amount of roars on the other side. Boo! At which point, <laughs> the gates open up to allow the both of you to... For the first time that has actually been allowed in these tournaments since the gates have opened up, to allow you to actually meet as equals and shake hands. At which point, Gladimon, sword sheathed, raises his hand up to you. Let's have a good bow, eh, hey, chap? Oh, wow, that's what you sound like. You're gonna want to forfeit. A good man shakes his hand. On the, On the contrary, contrary, dear sir, I'd, I'd like, like to have a formidable bout with a formidable, formidable opponent. opponent. And, and you certainly fit the bill. No. You saw my fight with Duskmon. You don't want any piece of this. I would like to try to intimidate him to forfeit. Alright then, I'd say go ahead and roll me a charm check. It'll be up against his grit check. Okay, let me just double check to see if I have anything to that. No? Okay. Well, that didn't go as planned. Very well, let's go what? ahead and roll for... yes? Two very important questions. One, does the forfeit still mean that I get my payout? I mean, you've already paid your bits. So I have Gladimon forfeits. Then, yes, it would be considered it a Gunimon be... wins. Okay. Uh, could I hypothetically put all of my <laughs> adversity tokens into his intimidation? I'm gonna suggest that you don't. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> so, with that, we'll go ahead and roll Gladimon's grit check on this one. He is slightly intimidated by you, because you are taller than him. <laughs> by definitely a larger amount. Before he takes a very quick back step and draws both of his blades. I will, I will not be feared, feared by you, foe. foe. We, we will have, have our bouts. 
I'm just trying to save us some time. Sure. At which point, Nannymon kind of <laughs> rises back up to his platform. It appears we've got sparks flying already, folks. <clears throat> Let the third match begin. Let's open the digital gate, even though they're already open. <laughs> and go ahead. Uh, why not? Eon would drop uh, 6k on this fight. Uh, who are you voting for? Agunimon. <laughs> Very well. Uh, I would say go ahead and roll me a flight check. Agunimon will roll one as well for Gladimon. That's with the plus one. That is with a plus one, so that is a four. Or no, that's. That's, or that's with. Just, that's with the plus one. That's a flight. Yeah, that's okay. with the plus one. Very well. We'll go ahead and roll Gladimon's flight check or flight check here. Hilariously, they rolled lower than you at a two. Ah! <laughs> Your so, skill. <laughs> Agunimon, you are the first to go. Give it a shot. Just gonna bang my knuckles together, sparks flying off as he just sort of dashes in and immediately starts boxing. Very well. Go ahead and give me a fight check. Okay, this one there will be I... no bonuses because you are a free type. Gladimon is a vaccine. There is no power bonus on this one. Okay, Dragon Draft plus one, plus one from just uh, normal stat stuff. <clears throat> so plus two. Damn. All right, so that is a nineteen. We'll go ahead and roll for Gladimon's. Uh... I'm gonna spend a few tokens for this. We're gonna spend five for Gladimon. Oh, and sorry, we'll I was muted. Damn! We'll go <laughs> ahead James. and roll his flight check for this. So that is a 9 versus a 19. So that is cool. plus 10. So what happens? I dribble him. <laughs> Very well. So you go ahead and with a overhead punch, slam his orb-like body into the ground to the point that he bounces and you give another punch, send him flying backwards across the arena as he takes two points of damage. I mean, just that one monster, when they first got their powers, like, just, like, doing the whole trick with the elbow. Are we sure this dude is a champion level? Are we sure we're the good guys? <laughs> At that point, Gladimon question. will stand up, kind of brush himself off as he... Wields his that was mean. Yeah, here. that was really uncalled. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel bad about that. Now. No, no. You've had that rush, dear sir. Allow, Allow me to retaliate. We rush. rush. What? At which point he's going to spin like a top with both of his swords drawn, coming at you. He's going to roll a fight check against you, and I will be spending another five <clears> tokens <throat> for this. Hey, I'm just like, oh, come on, that's my thing. So. That is an 18 on his fight check. I'll brawn that. Very well, go ahead and roll me the brawn check. You have to meet or beat an 18. Well, so how the table turns. versus turn. an 18. How the Riot? table turns. How the Would you like to add table. anything to this? Nah. <laughs> Very well. Then, it's coming in 10. just as bad, you are surprised at the speed of retaliation from Gladimon as his swords slash in a constant spin at your abdomen before sending you flying backwards as well, as you also take two points of damage. Well, I'm at half now. Oh. Okay. At which point, it is now Agunimon's turn. Right. I apologize for underestimating you, but I really can't afford to mess around here. And I'm just going to throw a series of fire punches at Rain, so it's just... I think my guy is Kosaku Jaku, his morning peacock, just a volley of flame punches just Very launched well. at this guy. So you send out a flame of fire fist from a distance, go ahead and give me a fight check. Do the thing here. What? Would you like to add anything to this, Pyro? <laughs> yeah. I'll put five in. Very well, so that will put us at a 13. 
we're gonna go ahead and spend uh, two tokens for Gladimon, who's going to make a flight check to dodge out of the way. And he'll have an additional bonus due to his ironclad defense ability. Oh, you bastard. That's my thing. That is a 6 versus a 13, so he will still fail. As you send out a <coughs> flurry of fiery fists that he tries to dodge and weave and dance through. But he's not fast enough as he takes a few impacts from the side and takes an additional point of damage. I'm, I'm glad, glad you're taking our fight seriously, good sir. sir. I, I believe it's time we finish, finish this, shall we? At which point he is going to make his way towards you uh, to about mid-range, and using his long arms and incredible reach, he's going to shout out, Sword Dancer! And swipe his blades from a distance as he makes an attack against you. We'll spend five tokens on this for his fight check. Well, he exploded, so let's try it. Oh. That is a 32. I'm gonna brawn it. I'm sorry, you said what? 30, 30, 30, 32. 32 on his fight check because his fight is a d20. Oh my hmm. god. So that is a 19 versus a 32, so that is still above 10. Pyro, what so, are you adding to this? <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna add not done yet after I'm dropped to zero from this. Pyro? Yeah, I'm gonna let that go. Very well. Oh, you'll spend the five for not done yet? Correct. Very well, so spend five tokens, and with a flurry of blows from Gladimon, you are cut and sliced and torn from the sides. You can feel some of your data leaking off of your body like blood. And as you begin to tumble down, about ready to take a knee, you pause mid-fall and begin to rise back up as a Goonimon is not done yet. I like to imagine like some data is like falling off my shoulders and my chest before all that data sort of turns like a golden orange and ignites. <sighs> you should that know. Said, it is now a Goonimon's turn. You should know. Those forces in this tournament looking to win things unfairly. Eyes on eyes, mod. And I'm going to go in for my own blow. I'm going Very to well. uh, spin around and pyro tornado. Alrighty. So you go ahead and spin with ferocity as you're coming at him like a fiery tornado before you're coming down with a impressive kick to the side. Go ahead and give me the fight check. Pyro, would you like to Why add did I follow Pyro's bat? Oh no! But it's okay, you're Terry one, you can steal it back. I'm gonna not. Yeah, just hold on to not done yet. Very well, we'll go ahead and roll a brawn check from Gladimon this time. My hubris! So that is also an 8, so he will make it as you impact with the blow to the side as he, with both of his arms, holds them up in a blocking formation that impacts, and you don't feel the arms bend at all with your kick. You don't want to fight Windy Goldman. Trust me. I came, I came to this tournament to prove, prove my worth, foe, and you, you will, will take, take me seriously. How about, How about you? you? And he's going to come at you with another swing. This will be another fight check. With nothing added, that is a four. <laughs> oh, damn. Guys, I don't know if I got this. No, I should use flights. That's my team. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only you? way, guys. Dare you? <laughs> and as the sword is about to pierce your face, you pull up your fist and the bracer on top of your knuckle grinds against the sword as it just barely blocks out of the way. Out of curiosity, can I just roll flight to see what I could have gotten? I'll, I'll let you. Why not? I just, for I just want to see what could have been. Oh my god. No. I'll easily dodge out of the pouch in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> just die. Uh, I'm, I'm, not new not done yet. <laughs> I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. You're trying to choke it out <laughs> from the sword. 
<laughs> that so would have been bad. Agunimon, it is now your turn. <laughs> okay, for real now. In the timeline where I use the brawn check. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just try and kick him as hard as I can. Alright. No, right. no. Like no. I'm no. going to think back to the fights before with Marjumon and Teriamon oh and fucking headbutt him. Yes. Very well. Go ahead and give me a fight check. Teriamon and Marjumon. I'm required to roll a brawn check so we can tank this. Can you can you just give him like a Will you listen to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, go <laughs> Give me the okay, fight check. This Mohem collision is just like, Listen, you dunced fuck! <laughs> Alright, that Terry is Amon and Mar 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 anything to this. <laughs> oh, God. Teriamon and Mahajima are standing by the window with the arms crossed. I'm afraid to add anything to it on the off chance things go wrong and I still don't add, need don't the add. Oh, by, by the way, for, for my failure rolls, you've been at getting tokens back for those, right? What? If you, Wait, if you haven't been getting... You've failed some rolls, so if you haven't been taking those, then that's on you. At least two or three. I, I know fucking... For... I didn't count a fail roll. On the, uh, get, okay. Yeah, they, You've like, taken if, damage multiple times. Those are failed rolls. Okay. All so right. You should get at least like one or two tokens back. I know okay. for. I so, yeah, think three. Well, I'm, I'm going to say because you didn't count it no, right. No, that's I'm on me. Two. He's right. It's on me. <laughs> oh. um, so, yep. Regardless to that, then I'll put two in. All right, that puts it to an 11 versus the brawn check from Gladimon. I'm going to also, for the sake of fairness, also put two in. So, let's see what he gets. That is also a 9. So, Defender wins because he just meets it. Yeah, because he meets it. So, you headbutt and clang, and there's a resounding sound of metal that echoes out as you reel back. Gladimon is still standing, and you can see from both sides on things that there is a nice little mark on both foreheads of the opponents. Oh, you take a token, We uh, that's a failure on our part. Yes, it is. At which point, Gladimon will, again, begin to spin as it goes for another wheel rush. Let's go ahead and roll that roll. We'll say, I'm going to add three to this. That is a 21 on the fight check. Gone it is. So, not done yet, I assume we... Probably do we have enough for that? Yeah. Alright, very not well. Yet. With, once again, a spinning slashing of blades, you are cut <laughs> throughout the entirety of your torso. You can see multiple lines from myriad angles at this point from the crowd onlookers, and you see Agunimon actually get airtime from the end of that slash from Gladimon. And right as he's about to collapse on his back, his eyes open up, does a backflip and lands superhero pose, like three-point landing, before standing back up. He's still not done yet. This tournament isn't worthy of a man like you. Just... Damn it! And I'm gonna headbutt him again. <laughs> Be foe. Do, Do not, not take, take me lightly. I don't! Agunimon's lost almost all of his blood. He's got him right where he wants him. <laughs> I'm gonna put in one point. Alright, so that is a 14. I'll go ahead and spend three on this one for Gladimon. So... So that's another brawn check as you try to headbutt him. Yep. So that is a 7 versus a 13. So, you go ahead and well, you pick him up once again. He'll probably a point, didn't he? Yeah, 14. No, I'm saying you, I'm saying you beat him. 14 oh, versus yeah, yeah. 7. So... You go ahead and you pick him up, and you, once again, much like your allies have done before, go for an intensive headbutt, and your hair and your horns ignite with flame as you bring your head and crest down into Gladimon. There's another resounding ping of metal, and as you drop Gladimon and roll back ready to fight again, you see Gladimon unsteady on their feet as they look over towards you. Finally, an, an opponent, opponent that, that takes, takes me seriously. seriously. 
before he collapses to the ground. Oh. Winner oh. by knockout, a Goonyman! A Goonyman falls to his back, just like, fucking finally! <laughs> Here I'm on a Maj Maj just by the window with the arms forward nodding. Yes, he's learned the power of the headband. And with that, 90 Mon points over towards the Champion Cup bracket. And with that, Gladimon falls behind and the Goonimon makes their way to the semifinals. I hate to admit this, but I think that means that Gladimon's stronger than both Dustmon and Flamemon. How loud do you say that? <laughs> I, I, I think I'm mumbling it to myself, but if Duskmon <laughs> is right next to me... Uh, wait, Who isn't did... Duskmon right next to? <laughs> wait, did, Mus did Duskmon, Eo, and Majumon already leave for the uh Doesn't final. sound like it. Like yeah, they probably Duskmon was narrating. That's right. So... Yeah, you guys were narrating the fight at this point, but I would say I would say because it was a Goonimon's fight, you probably like would have wanted. Duskmon would have wanted to see sticker, yeah, some of the fight if possible. So Fair yeah, enough. with that said, uh, with it going into now System on Noir's fight, who is getting ready to do their bout, uh, Sammy, any encouraging words for System on? Um, <laughs> it looks like you're gonna die. You can get out of there. There's no shame in running. Certainly not going to give up. I've got to get revenge for my little buddy. Besides, once I win, it's going to be me versus a Goonimon. And we'll really see who's the strongest out of all of us. I mean, we know it's you. So, like, what's the point in having the fight in the ring? Well, you know, public stats. If you need any advice, headbutting seems to be the thing today. Well, you won't really know until you fight Striker Jermon, but I don't think no one wants to fight Striker Jermon. No <laughs> one does. We'll see how that goes. I'll keep it in mind as a last stitch effort. At which point, System on Noir. Striker Jermon has the biggest fucking body count. And uh, begins okay. to make her way towards the arena. Uh, while this is going on, you said that uh, people wanted to make their way into uh, looking around for Black Algamon. Oh, yeah, we want kidnapping. Very well. I, I thought we were doing that. The whole time. For everyone that wants to go looking for him, which I believe that was uh, everyone who's ER, not Mono Dramon, and yeah, Duskmon. ER, Mono Dramon, uh, Duskmon, and who Duskmon. else? Uh, just the three of us. Just the three if, of you. Yeah. Okay. If, if just oh, three does. Of us. Anyone else can join right now? Yeah, okay. Yeah, if it's an open, open invite, then Gary'd probably want to go. Hell yeah. Well, so Gary, Mono will Dramon, stay and ER, so he can observe Wendigo Mon. Duskmon, <laughs> is Magimon coming along? Uh, I would imagine he'd be going where Gary's going. Very well. Okay. So give me one second here. To... You don't want to watch the Wendy Gomon fight? So. T -t 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 uh, right. Nah, he. Look, he's he's with the book to that movie. <laughs> Ma Magamon basically just only knows the cliff notes of what's happened, and it's probably for the best he's not invested. <laughs> Very well. So, with that said, uh, we'll go ahead and while System on Noir is getting ready for their bout, we'll go ahead and make our way over here. And I'll get the music changed over. To... There we go. So, a lot of you are trying to look for Black Agumon currently, that's correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. I would like all of you to roll me... I'm gonna say a brains check? Or a charm check in the form of like trying to talk to people to figure out where Black Akumon might have gone. Oh, thank God. So I was about to say, do you want ER to roll charm. Your so choice. here's my question. Here's my question, guys. Do I roll a d4 and potentially crit? Or do I roll a d10? Well, you gotta roll the d4. I gotta. I gotta roll the d4. Because every single one of all four numbers is a weird number. Exactly. The all so they've they've got to explode. Exactly. Oh, it did. It did. Oh, well, that's you know who. I did right. it. So How about... that is six, a ten, a, two, a six. I'm very curious what my charm would have been. What was the DC and again? Did we have a set DC? I, I, did, or no? I did not set a DC. I just said all okay. of you roll to determine what's going on. So. <laughs> 
ER, Magimon, Monodramon, Gary. We're waiting on Duskmon's roll. Ah, fair. For uh, either then... brains or uh, charm to try you got and determine it. where Black Agamon might be. Uh, you got it. Uh, come on. Adjust, got so many there eyes. It's true. He's so good at looking at stuff. It's true. Oh, does he get a bonus? At Look at him he, go. He Look at does. Things. He gets a plus one bonus, which is all he needs. <laughs> so, uh, from looking around uh, for Monodramon and Duskmon, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of Digimon that are here at the Coliseum that are both going to the different areas to get food while the matches are getting ready to go, that are meeting up with friends, talking about the various bouts that have happened. Uh, you do not see anyone of interest. Gary, from asking around, you can only tell really that people were saying that uh, Black Agamon was clearly dragged off because of how unconscious they were after their bout with Monodramon. Magimon. From asking around, you know that when Black Agumon was pulled out of the arena, they were not conscious when they were dragged to what might have been like a area for treating wounds and things like that. So you assume that they might be still recovering in that location, but you're not sure. Is there... Any such thing as, like, a tracer spell that Magimon could attempt? I'd say you could certainly attempt it, but you don't have anything to use as, like, a starting point to trace Black Agumon. Hmm. Fair. All right. If you had something to work with, then I would allow it. But in this case, because you're essentially starting from scratch and just being like, I know what he looks like. It's going to be a very difficult check. Yeah, that's could fair. We, could we approach one of the, like, the officials and be like, Hey, yo, where, where did the Digimon go if they need to get kind of checked up? Uh, Majimon just needs to, you know, you know, check with the, with the guy just because he kind of got beat up in his fight. I mean, you would have been made aware via the rules that there is a recovery tent. None oh. of you have decided to go there. <laughs> You've all just decided to immediately go back to the stands to just, while beaten up and bruised, watch the rest of the tourney. <laughs> what if we ask somebody, yo, where's the recovery tent? They would easily point you in the right direction. My god. Perfect. A and nat 20. Master detective. <laughs> sure enough, when you make your way over to, like, the little recovery area that is, like, a small tent that is set up uh, that has a few different Digimon that are blocking out the area. They'll let any individuals that are, like, still competitors to go through, and as well as their, like, sponsors and things. So, sure enough, you make your way into the tent, and you can see a few Digimon that are recovering. I mean, clearly you can see Gladimon, who has most recently been brought over there, who is just laying on a... <laughs> laying on the back of one of the cots. Still out like a light, their swords placed off to the side. But you do not see Black Agumon here. Hmm... That is weird. Me think some nefariousness is up is afoot. I think, I think maybe Eisbon took him. I don't know where though, but wow. I mean, where else do they hang out? Has um, I'll uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, out of curiosity, has High Andromon been sitting watching the tourney this whole time? The whole time. Ever since he made his initial announcements during each of the start of the different cups, he's been going back to his chair and hasn't moved since. Just been watching the battles back and forth. Okay. Just Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? From what uh, you guys have told me and from what I saw in that fight, I, I don't know if going back to that area you were at while Eismon is there, is a good idea. We know it's only him. Yeah, that's just, that may be enough. That may very yeah. be enough. Oh, don't worry, I'm skeptical. What were you, Gary? What do you think? 
I mean, it seems pretty apparent that High Andromon is supporting a lot of the contenders in this, and it would not surprise me if they were all operating out of the same area. I don't know that it would be smart to go there without all of us. Even if High Andromon's not there. It's kind of a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There may be some benefit to the fact that uh, we wouldn't have all of our adversaries there, but we also don't have all of our team. It could play out more like a trap to take some of us off the board than something to take one of them off the board. Yeah... That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm just going to go with whatever you guys say. I'm not exactly good at the whole thing stuff. This is... I, I just can't think of anything good. Yeah, if this is what you guys want, it's fine. It's just these guys are cheating and there's no way to prove it. Gotta be some... At which point you hear a roar coming from the main part of the Coliseum, and you can tell that the next match is most likely getting ready to start. So is this, uh, are we going back? Gary? Yeah? What are the odds we actually break whoever's control over Wendigo Mod? We don't really have any details about it. I don't know that they're very high odds. I, I have a question, and tell me if I'm being if I'm being if I'm not making sense. While well, Wendigo Mon is distracted with Sister Mon, is now a good time to get Grayson, Riot, and Rhino and go into that place. You basically use system as a distraction. I don't like how that sounds. That's the thing at the end of the day. It doesn't necessarily matter how much of an unlikely situation it is for us to win at this. If we lose, there's a lot to lose. What it was, might be worth it. What was the original goal of going in there, anyway? The tournament? No, their spooky room. Uh, it's, it was to get the information yeah, they, that they were cheating. And, yeah. But if the boss here doesn't care... That's true. Then what's the point of proving that they're cheating? If the judge effectively in a case is the enemy, you can't really make him go, Oh, you're right, I'm cheating. <laughs> yeah. It comes down to what Gary said. We gotta get the terminal on. Do we know where the term term the blah, blah, blah. Do we know where the terminal is? Not a clue, but it might be behind that door. I mean, High Angelman would want it protected. What if this is a probably terrible idea? Someone tell me this is a terrible idea. I'll wait to hear the idea first, I guess. It's Dustman, terrible. How ready are you for a fight? I'm always ready. How confident are you that you think you could lure someone away if push came to shove? It depends on the person and what the word lure means. Uh, effectively, you distract them, and make them not notice us by being focused all eyes, pun intended, 
on you. I suppose I could be somewhat capable of that. You want mm. Dustmon to lure out Eismond? We need, I feel like, a scapegoat in this way. Because if we're going to go in there, try and figure out either whatever could get Wendigomon back to normal, whatever we need, or if the admin terminal's there, this may be the best time to do it, but Eismon is a huge threat, so it would be us against the clock, and if we end up on a fight, then it's just all of us risking getting taken out. If Dustmon could keep him on his toes and keep him away from us, that's a whole different game. Okay, I say we do it. I say we go. We go now while the fight's happening. Duskmon tries to run interference against uh, Eismon if Eismon is there. If we get there and Black Akumon is there, we might be able to question him. If it's the terminal, we might be able to use it. And if we can find solid evidence of cheating, then we might be able to present the evidence to the crowd rather than High Andromon. If the and is if there, we, we have proof, then we can maybe turn some favors against High Andromon and force his hand. It's possible to be like... able to turn the people against someone like that with the truth. In any case, everything that we need may lie beyond that door, and the only way we're going to find out is if we go there, unfortunately. Uh, out of really character can... right quick, we're both healed up, right? Every yeah. Everyone here is healed. Every, yeah, Monodramon got healed up. You have not fight, yeah. You have not fought today, and Duskwon has not fought today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo, yeah, just is like, my only concern is if it if the tunnel is down there, neither of us know how to turn it on. Grayson's the only one that can do that. Should we get Grayson and maybe get a Goodymon and, and uh, right to back up, up uh, Duskmon? I, we could, but I am partially, I'm, if I'm hedging all on this idea, there's still a part of me that's afraid of what goes on at that arena while we're not there. If we don't make yeah. it, if we don't find some answer, we're literally leaving, we're leaving a comrade in there alone. I don't know how I feel about that. No, I get that. This is this is both good and bad for all the right and wrong reasons. The entire time they're having this conversation, Grayson's talking the same. Like, you know, in hindsight, the real cyber sleuths should have gone out. <laughs> Look for clues and all of this. Yeah, but I'm not going anywhere while Sister Mon's fighting, so we'll, oh, yeah. we'll just have to go after, you know? Yeah, I get you. Gary. At which point... Unless you guys have, like, one quick thing before I transition to the fight, before you figure out what you're doing. Yeah, I, I got one last thing. It'll be very, very quick. All right. Gary, would you perhaps be willing to digivolve me back to Wizardmon and let him go back as a backup for them? I admit that the others may be good fighters, but at the very least, if things go wrong... Wizardmon knows what Sistermon would be dealing with. And worst case scenario, if we need help, we just send any message to the Digivices, and you'll know that means to come help us. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that, because there's probably going to be more support down there. If Duskmon's already down running interference, it just leaves Monodramon. Well, I, Monodramon this was working the with the... Out, out of character right quick. This was yeah. working with the assumption that you're going back to get the others, but it would leave Wizardmon there with Sammy. I'm assuming Reiner is still over there. It just means there's at least one other Digimon there to back up. Uh, ba basically swap Wizardmon yeah, gotcha. with, with Grayson and Teriamon. Okay. And um, I, I'm assuming yeah. you're bringing Riot and Nagunimon too, so you're getting that back yeah. up as well. Yeah, that that could probably work. Um, 
The only issue is y'all can't get in there without the passcode, which means that Gary's got to try to do a sleight of hand during the match on High Andromon to get the passcode. Oh, oh that's that? Oh, we bolt him on. If you know where he is. Hmm. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are making your figure way that back. Out. Yeah. And it's at this point that the match has already started between Sister Mon Noir and Wendigo Mon. As things have already been called, and they are going at it. I would like Sister Mon Noir to go ahead and roll me a flight check while Wendigo Mon does the same. Uh, that's an eight flight. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and roll for Wendigo Mon. They are at a three, so when uh, Sister Mon Noir is going to go first. Hell yeah. Uh, she's just going to start blasting. Very well. You know. Go ahead and give me a flight check. Uh, that's a nine, which is not ideal. Very well, let's go ahead and roll for the brawn check. So sure enough, the bullets are impacting into Wendigo Mon. They're hitting. He is not, like, moving in any way, shape, or form to try and dodge out of the way. But System on Noir is looking at the bullet impacts, and it feels like they're not doing anything. Oh, come on. This just feels ridiculous. Goggles are on. At which point you see that Wendigo Mon's data once again is still that staticky blur. Uh, if you're burning the uh, adversity token for Analyze for this. I am. And I'm right, looking well. for Eismon as well. Very well. Keep an eye out for that then. And so. is Angemon, uh, High Angemon, doing anything as well? Am I able to see that as well? High Andromon, from looking up in the little box that he's sitting in, has not moved since the start of these matches. Ever since he initially came out, made his announcement for the Champion Cup's second round, and sat back down. And that is him. It's not some sort of, like, duplicates or some he, decoy? You can see the data hasn't fluctuated or changed. High Andromon gotcha. is here and is keeping a very close eye on the proceedings. Copy. It is now going to be Wendigo Mon's turn. Who's going to go ahead and roll a fight check against Sister Mon Noir? Let's go ahead and I'm going to say I'll burn two tokens for this. And they'll get a plus one because it's going to be virus versus data. So they're getting a plus three to this roll. Oh, man. So that is a five on their fight check. Okay. So either brawn to tank it or flight to dodge. Uh, I think it's definitely going to be flight. All right, go ahead and roll the check, please. Uh, that's that the 19, 19 flight. So, uh, yeah. you beat it by 10, so tell me what happens. Uh, yeah, I think she does, like, a cartwheel backflip combination and just, like, fully is on the other end of the arena. Also, Very that well. was an explosion. You see, it's, uh, <laughs> you see that uh, Wendigo Mon is kind of flailing their arms about. They're not very focused as they're kind of slamming about for the most part. As System on Noir starts getting a little cocky at this point, shrugs shoulders. You can certainly take a lot of hits, big guy, but you're not very good at hitting yourself. Let's see if we can take it up a notch. As it is now System on Noir's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, use the Bless Fire and just uh, shoot with both Anthony's at the same time. Very well. Go ahead and give me a fight check, please. Oh, man. That's a two. Uh, well, can ahead. I add Yeah, what tokens, tokens are you spending? Uh, I'm gonna add five, I think. All right, so that'll put you at a seven. Uh, we'll get a plus one on this because of virus versus uh, data, so we'll see what this roll is. So that is a four versus a five. So again, you are putting shot after shot. System on Noir keeps peppering into Wendigo Mon. But again, it feels like there's just no piercing through that initial resistance through. As System on Noir again just reloads the amp and these. Come on already! Just go down, big guy! It is now Wendigo Mon's turn, and Grayson, you see that fluctuation begin to start of Wendigo Mon's data. How close do I need to be to administer the antivirus? You are in the stands, and there is currently that big dome shield that keeps the fights locked in. So you would have to be in the fight arena, basically. You don't know if you could administer the antidote through the barrier. Right. 
So, it is now going to be Wendigo Mon's turn, who's going to make a fight check. This will be plus one for type advantage. Well, they didn't roll very high. That is a three on their fight check. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much always going to pick flight, but so I'll Go try ahead, to dodge the, it. Give me the check. Uh, that's a 13 flight. So, once again, Another explosion. Wendigo Mon is slamming their fists around, this time a little faster, but System on Noir seems to just be keeping pace with it at this point, as it's now their turn. Yeah, I think they're trying to, like, definitely keep distance at this point, because she's technically long dis like long-distance fighter anyway, but, um... Fair enough. Yeah, I think, uh... uh same strategy, that, I mean, it, ha it doesn't seem to be working, so I'm kind of, like, trying to think if there's anything else we could do, but... At this point, I think I'm just going to keep blasting. Very well. Go ahead and give me a fight check. Uh, 17. 17. Very well. We'll go ahead and roll with Wendigo Mon's additional bonus to type advantage. So, that is a 7 on their end. At this point, you see System on Noir start looking around at this point and begin to ricochet by shooting out of the Anthony's and then shooting the bullets that are already traveling with the Anthony, almost at higher velocity, before one of them clips the sound barrier with a loud bang and pierces through Wendigo Mon. And whatever shield-like substance had been kind of supplying them before, it is now broken through. Much like how the same way was that Wizard Mon broke through initial shielding. So Wendigo Mon is now at a baseline level for you. Oh, hell yeah. And System on Noir kind of, like, gives a bit of a fist bump. All right! Now it's mano a mano, eh, big guy? Before Wendigo Mon again surges with data as you're looking at it, Grayson, and again, their stats max out. Uh, and they're gonna guys? go ahead and make a yell of their voice. Coco Crusher! And with a loud shout, attempt a attack roll. That is a 22. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I have to explode to dodge this, but hopefully. Ooh. No. So that is a four. This <laughs> is a 22. Are you putting anything into this to mitigate damage? Ah, man. There's, like, nothing I can kind of do. Like, I don't I don't have enough tokens to put in to do anything at this point, okay. although... Okay, it's a 22, right? You have to try to get over the 10s. Oh, okay. Or else he's going to do one more damage per 10, I think, right? So currently okay. it's not plus 20. So it's currently okay, at least plus 10 right now. So okay. that's why I'm asking if you're putting anything in. But if uh, you're not, then... Yeah, I, I, I'll put nine tokens in. Very well, that'll put you at 13 versus 22. That'll mitigate it just enough. You'll still take the uh, one adversity token for failing this as the shockwave blasts out and as System on Noir tries to cartwheel away, the shockwave catches her in the leg and sends her tumbling to the ground and impacting as she takes a single point of damage. Alright, so you're tough. We knew that going into this. But the bigger they are, big guy, the harder you're gonna fall. And it is System on Noir's turn. Yeah, I, we got through the shielding, so I'm gonna shoot him again. I'm gonna do the uh, Mickey bullet, which is like the randomized Very shot well. around the arena. Um, and it's a three, so... Not great. Are you adding anything to this or no? Uh, I'm gonna save my last adversity tokens for defense, I think. Fair enough. So that is a 7 versus a 3, so you'll fail, so take your adversity token. As the Mickey bullet bounces around, and you see that Wendigo Mon, for the first time ever, instead of just tanking the hits, actively contorts their body to dodge the bullets from the Anthony's. To the point where it's like unnatural angles. As their body reforms back, and that sinister-looking smile appears on their face. And they're going to go ahead and raise an arm up as their arm elongates and extends to smash down 
and they're going to go ahead and roll an attack roll as, Grayson, you see another surge of data. Their stats are still maxed, but something's still growing. That is a 16 on their flight check. Oh my god, okay. Uh, if I do flight... That's a 5. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use my last 5 tokens to get it up to a 10. Very well. So, as the arm slams down, System on Noir bounces on the ground Oof. before recoiling, doing a few cartwheels back, and on hands and knees, kind of pulling themselves back up. They'll take a point of damage for this. They're now at half health. Pa, oh, and I don't have the tokens for my battle sense. Actually, uh, or do I battle need sense them? is... Or am I <laughs> going crazy? That just battle kicks in. Battle sense um... is when you're at half health, so congratulations, you're now in battle sense range. <laughs> Blessed. Okay, cool. So now you'll take an additional plus five to all of your fight checks. Hell yeah. Speaking of which, is it, it's my turn, isn't it? It is now System on Noir's turn as they stand up. Okay. You messed right. with the wrong mon, buddy. Uh, 17 this time. Very well. We'll go ahead and roll for the brawn check on Wendigo Mon. That is a 12. So the uh, bullets yes. fire out and they are flaming with each shot with a holy light, as Wendigo Mon will take a point of damage. Oh! Yes. The first My actual God. point of damage you've seen in this fight since breaking the shield. My goodness. <laughs> at which point Wendigo Mon will look at the impact point of the bullet, kind of dust off a little bit of the charred fur, and smile at Sister Mon Noir. It is now I... their turn. You see their data surge again, Grayson. as they're going to go ahead and go for another attack. They rolled low this time. That is a 7 on their flight check. Okay. <laughs> it's actually doable. Let's see what we get. Nope. That's a 2. Do you have anything to add to that or no? I do not. So you'll take an adversity token as Wendigo Mon gets up close and in a similar fashion to one Sherlock Holmes claps both hands over System on Noir's sides of the head for like a discombobulate style attack and their ears and head is ringing as they take an additional point of damage they're down to 1 HP oh god you see that yeah. Wendigo Mon from System on Noir's point of view is having the time of their life <laughs> oh man it is now yeah. System on Noir's turn uh that's a seven fight. Very well, we'll go ahead and roll for the flight check at this point. That is a 23. So, System Noir, still ears ringing, pulls up the Anthony's and is aiming wide as it bounces into the barrier that is covering and protecting the crowd. Before Wendigo Mon grabs System Noir by the top of their hood and pulls oh, them up. Do you yield? And System on Noir, unfortunately, has a very unique set of flaws. <laughs> they are incredibly vain. Oh no. And System on Noir is going to look at him. Their mouth is going to move a little bit as they spit in Wendigo Mon's face. Sammy. Can you did evolve her? I. Uh... She would be a rookie. She'd be disqualified. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna de evolve. I don't want her very, to die. <laughs> very well. With that, give me a quick moment here. You all see System on Noir fade from the area and. Still in the grip of Wendigo Mon is now Salomon. And at which point Nanny Mon is getting ready to call the fight before you see Wendigo Mon take his other hand and <gasps> grip to the other side of the holy ring 
<gasps> alongside Salomon, almost like in a choking situation, before throwing them across the arena, and they impact into the ground. Grayson, is do I know where the uh, participants leave from? They would be leaving from their respective corners. So, at which point, Nannymon raises his hand. It appears we have a D-Digivolution, so that is a disqualification. Winner, Wendigo Ma! Um, Sammy's gonna, like, run over to the entrance where she can, like, collect Salomon. Reiner <laughs> will follow. Grayson so, so is puppy, right behind honestly. them. What? Who throws a puppy, honestly? <laughs> Grayson is holding his Digivice scroll to the antivirus and he's right behind them very well at which point wendigo mon is already uh slowly lumbering away towards their exit and kind of not even looking towards the lot of you grayson tries to get wendigo mon's attention how would you like to get wendigo mon's attention as you run out to the field why are you obsessed with terrier mon at which point, Wendigomon will stop and kind of just turn to look at you. There's no smile on their face. And... You sure about this, buddy? Grayson is going to try to walk closer to Wendigomon. Stay, buddy. Just now. stay safe. Terrymon's on his head. Very well. You begin to start making your way closer until you have to stop as you see blue and red cables slam in front of you, dividing you from Wendigomon. Oh, come and on. you look to the side and you see from the VIP box looking over, you see High Andromon, who has shot cables to block your path. If you are not directly involved in this fight, I suggest you return to your seats. Just... Wanting to congratulate a competitor on another win. That was not a request. At which mm. point you'll see the cables unhinge themselves from the ground and grab you by the wrist and begin pulling hey. you back towards where Salomon is. I want to call to Wendigo Mon that you don't need to be someone's puppet. At which point Wendigo Mon will kind of turn their full the half their body towards you. And I'd say for anyone that wants to, I'd say this would be between both Grayson and Terry Mon. Go ahead and roll me a we're gonna say a grit check on this one to kind of gauge how Wendigo Mon is looking right now. I add nothing to that as Terry Mon. So go ahead and just give me the rolls. Ah. I'm looking to see if there's anything I can do. Does this count as a defense roll? Oh, I, I'm, that's this as- This is not I'll, combat, so no. <laughs> but I, I understand what that's supposed to be, so. I'm going to loyalty Terriomon. Very well, how many are you adding? I'm adding, he gets eight, so I'm taking out four. All right, so. That will put you so at that scene. Yeah. So, Terriermon, you look at Wendigomon, and after Grayson's call out of saying you don't need to be someone's pet, you can almost see a hint of pain behind their gaze. There's no facial features that would show this off, but looking at their eyes, you can see that their gaze is trying its best to not look you in the eyes. There's certainly a level of intensive discomfort. You're not sure where it's coming from, though. Terriamon just Mon. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, he calls out, Windigo Mon. And subtly, just enough for Windigo Mon to see if he glances over, just kind of nod my head over to High Angemon and just go, Runt. 
Wendigo Mons will meet your gaze, track where you're looking, and they will slowly nod their head before turning and very quickly beginning to make their way off the stage. Here you have monster wisp. Sammy. Yeah. You make your way over to Salomon, who is very much worse for wear at 1 HP. I like run over and like cradle their body. <laughs> As you do, you notice something about them. Uh? Aside from all of the wounds and injuries, you see that there is something that has been attached to the Holy Ring collar around their neck. Oh, okay. And looking at it, you can see that there is a small metal clasp that's easily removable, but attached to that metal clasp is a blank white key card. Okay. Hello. Uh, I think I'm not going to bring it up while we're in the actual arena until like we're like further away from High Andromon's view. Um... But uh, if I can try to, like, just sort of stick it in my pocket or, like, cover it in some way. All right, sure enough, you go ahead and quickly pocket the key card so it's not easily seen. Does Reiner see this? I was with her. I don't know if it's... I would say because Sammy was holding Salomon, uh, mm -hmm. probably not immediately. Okay. But... You all kind of begin to make your way off the stage as Nanimon points over towards the board. Let's take a look at the semifinals for the Champion Cup. And you take a look, and System on Noir has been knocked down. And when the Gomon moves on to the semifinals, which, going based off of your history from discussions with people, is supposedly where Wendigo Mon bows out. Supposedly. Supposedly. Oh boy. And a lot of you begin to make your way back to the stands at this point as you hear Nanny Mon call out. And that will be the end of the Champion Cup for today's second round. Coming up next, we'll be looking at the semifinals for the Ultimate Cup. Stay tuned for that, folks. And people begin to kind of disperse from the stands to get ready for the next set of matches. And so it's Sam at this point that while you're gathering together that you can all kind of discuss. Sammy, I know. I have this weird hunch that there might be something in Windigo. Like, yeah. Um, you don't say, and I'll pull out the key card. <laughs> this was attached sure. to Salomon's holy ring. What? What the... Uh... Listen, I just get ears when I did evolve. Do you have to brag about what her, what she came with? Oh wait, you mean that just now? Yeah. It was Oh, attached. I'm stupid. Wait. I would state the obvious, but that would be redundant. Hey, uh, uh Sal Salmon, you you're too weak. <laughs> uh Salmon, uh, I'm gonna spend a heel chip on Salmon. Alright, very well though. <laughs> Go ahead. Also gonna spend a heel chip on Salmon. <laughs> Well, I just want to point out. <laughs> so when you go, Mon did this. Yeah. I mean, he must have. While I, I mean... was in his grasp, when I was reverted back to this form, he grabbed my throat and placed this on it. That kind of tracks for what I saw. He, when I looked at him, he. What, he, he seemed to react to what Grayson said about not being a puppet or a pet. This is starting to make sense. I think he I think wants he's to being fight controlled. Back. I think he wants to fight back, and we're his best chance. Yeah. Which is why he's probably looking at Terriermon as a way out of this predicament he's in. Terriermon, known to be freedom fighters and <clears throat> liberators, apparently. But why, why me and not anyone else? That's something I guess we won't know till later, but I regardless, guess we'll ask... you're it. So, 
We need to figure out what to do. This card's probably the one for the place we wanted to go into earlier. Yeah, let's let's regroup with Wyatt and Ogunimon and find the others. Maybe they already found Black Agumon. Yeah. To this point that, sure enough, we'll go ahead and slide ourselves back over to the entrance to the arena. And everyone will have met up at this point. By the time that you arrived, the, the match was relatively quick as Gary, Grayson, uh, or sorry, Gary and uh, ER, you make your way back with everyone in tow and see that uh, it's not System Noir that's walking with everyone, but uh, Salomon that is looking a little unsteady on their legs, but okay in the most part. ER kind of freezes mid-step like, oh, that doesn't look like it went according to plan. How are you, how are you holding up, Salomon? About as well as one can be when faced against that beast Ugh. I, I suppose the only plus side is we have a lead we we do sammy when to come on gave us a key card oh well that kind of works for what gary was talking about uh yeah i'm glad i didn't go through with the thing i was doing is way more dangerous than that no we, we had a great plan don't worry about it I'm sure it would have been uh, top notch. Well, uh, let me let me see the key card for a sec. Yeah, I'll just hand it to you. Okay. Right. I'm gonna I see hand you it. my goggles just because I want to help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tuck them under an arm and use the RFID reader writer thing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you just wanted me to hold them. No, no, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll... They are cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... You won't be able to look at them with your glasses. Anyway. Have to... Using the RFID finder, you go ahead and try and scan the, uh, the key. Mm -hmm. And you're honestly taken aback because this key card, the way that it's set up, is essentially set up like a master key to the point where even if the code was to change as it actively does with that 27-digit code that changes every 30 minutes... This kind of bypasses that and is a master key. Hmm. Okay. This master uh, key reads one, two, three, four, five. All the way up to 27. <laughs> oh my god, that's the same code for my luggage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, am I able to copy the code on it or no? Uh, it is a master copy, so I would say that you could copy it to the RFID finder. You don't have any other cards to change to I direct do. it to i oh. do have three. Oh yes you did make three this i forgot about this so yeah you can go ahead and copy that master <laughs> code up to uh up to the other three so you'll have a total of four the original and three okay. copies all right i'll do that um that way we can have three other key cards and not get wendy wendy go in trouble <laughs> i can, I can <laughs> if we get caught i can sneak it back out to him <laughs> I'll I'd give him a code. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Uh, we were... Uh, Grayson actually stood up to Wendy I'm I'm proud of you. And... Uh, he and I both got the vibe that Wendy Goman is trying to escape. Like, he's the one that gave that to Sistermon. Well, Salomon. Hmm. And when I... I try to talk to him, I kind of... I told him, like, yo, hi, Angemon. He's the runt. And he kind of nodded with me. I was like, oh, oh, we're on the same team. I think well, he's I think he's trying to help us. Not formally. I think he's still, like, controlled. But if we can break whatever control he that he's under, I think we can get him on our side. Seems possible. Um, I'd say the only chance we'd have on a clue at that is to go through the USB thing that Meteor Mon had. I'm sorry, what? Oh, you Please. know the thing that had all the photo albums of everything in our entire oh, Digimon's yeah. collected past that I thought we were just politely not looking through? Oh. Grayson? I we mean, need you to unpolitely look through that. I thought we were intentionally not snooping, but I mean, we could do that. I mean, <laughs> we wanted to do that. I mean, I, I can do that if you guys think I need to. 
Should I? I don't know. It might give us some hint of a backstory to some of this, but I I don't know. We might just have the way that we need to go already without doing that. It might give uh, us an edge if, if we find something down there. At which I'll, point you will hear, uh, coming from the inside of the Coliseum, that Nanimon is beginning to announce the start of the Ultimate Cups semifinals. There is, um... There's a prime opportunity here for us I just wanted to point out. What's that? Well, Edgemont's it seems the, the uh, as long as he's busy in there, he's not out here, right? Yep. And I'm assuming our only for certain threat that we'd have to deal with in there is bug eyes. Not you, Dustmont. The other one. My eyes are closer to human eyes. Bugs don't have eyes. Almost a dozen <laughs> human eyes. Akunema's like leaning against a building, eyes swollen. He still hasn't been. <laughs> I want, I actually, I've been waiting for a time to say it, but I didn't want to interrupt like some good moments and stuff. I will give him my last heal chip. <laughs> oh, great. Well. One heal chip. I'm back to half, guys. You're still in battle sense range, so. <laughs> that's what oh, we need cool. you. Let's do this. <laughs> But Do you said, want two more? We have two more. <laughs> uh, as you all are kind of discussing things, you actually uh, notice now leaving the arena at a pretty brisk pace is Wendigomon. And hmm. the, based on the way that they're headed, you know for sure where they're going. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. is... Okay, but why is he going there? He doesn't have the key to get in. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe he has a spell. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, wait, should I, should I give him back his key? I think we know. should follow him. <laughs> Imagine that, though. Yeah, like, Kayla walls up. Hey, buddy, your job this. And when he goes, I was like, what the fuck me? <laughs> if we're willing to, before we get wrapped up in this, that advantage I was talking about, the that key card you just made three more of but they don't know that. They think there's still just one. So, hypothetically, if we end up in a uh, skirmish, let's call it, with Eismon, if I run off with that key card, I think I'd be the one he'd come after. And as long as I can just keep away with him from him with Agunimon, then we can keep him out of the fray. And... Uh -huh thing about that is he can teleport. I think Eismon in particular wouldn't be a bothered by that. I don't... It depends on the circumstance that would make him want to chase you. It's... We'll figure out a distraction for Eismon if we need one, but I agree that time is of the essence and we should go now. Yeah, let's, let's follow the big guy. All right. Uh, right, I promise, if we need a decoy, you're option number one. You yeah. All begin to make your way following after Wendigomon. Who... I have three more heal chips. Should I heal a Goodymon? Uh, I have one as well. Uh, I'll spend one if you spend one, Red. Gotcha. Everyone's at full. Very well. Everyone's Bada at full boom. HP. So, you all follow Wendigomon from a, a relatively safe distance. And sure enough, they are leading you back to that ramshackle shop that is worn down and they enter into the shack you give it about maybe a few minutes or so before following back in and the first thing you notice uh at least for gary in this case is the debris that you had moved in to disrupt the hologram has been moved back to its original position mm -hmm. and that wendigomon is nowhere to be seen in here hmm. not super surprising um, okay. Well, I guess we're just going through the hologram. Very well. You make your way through the hologram, and sure enough, the, uh, <laughs> the slated iron door stands before you with the keypad still staring at you menacingly. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna preemptively, like, you know, get our, basically say, like, 
there's anything that we need to do to get ready before we start a fight, now's the time. Everybody good to go? <laughs> I'm always good to go. Okay. I did you vault knowledge, man. No, kid. <laughs> did um, I I on. <laughs> so, who has projectile style weapons? I know Reiner throws stuff. Uh, slash hits things with the bat. I have a yep. grappling hook. Okay. I wish I had one more token. You Fair. can't digivolve? No. Oh, what a shame. Do something in Dust come on has laser eyes. That's true. I, uh, okay. Right. Are you if I, a hammer uh, fucking fire out and come back? Okay. Mon can um, flame breath. Okay. So I give Magimon. I give, go for go for sorry. I uh, know you, you, you first. You first. Did Magimon still want to digivolve before we went in there, or because Wizardmon had wanted to de digivolve to Magimon? Does Magimon still want to digivolve, or is th was that situational based on the previous fight? It was more or less based on the previous fight. I kind of feel like if we're gonna come up against anything in here okay. that isn't a brute force situation, no offense, but I'm a little bit smarter than the other guy. He's not here to be offended by that, so. That's also true. You, you know, so you're just you know. kind of talking <laughs> shit behind his back. It's fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I'm, the worst. Real friend. I'm going to, uh, uh, before we open ooh, the door, gosh. I would like to put an X card on a Goonimon's fist, one of Dustmon's blades, Reiner's bat, Riot's hammer, and uh, put one on <laughs> Monodramon's forehead. Uh, yes! Nick, to yeah. set up for a team attack in the future. Uh, okay. Nick, I have a quick question. <laughs> I might have an answer. For the roll to read Wanigomon. Yeah. Terriomon succeeded because I gave him him uh, loyalty. Grayson didn't. Does that mean Grayson gets a adversity token for that? <laughs> Do you need you need the one more to be able to digivolve, don't you? Yes. I'll allow it. And now I'm empty. Very well. <laughs> With that, we have Terriermon digivolving. I was going to say save him, but okay. So, Look, that... we need some guns here, man. Yes, we, we do. We haven't seen you out here more, that much. Time to shine with my device. Here we go. Give me one moment here to also mess with the, the next map about this. I just think that Grayson and uh, Terriermon were like off in the corner, so we're like, okay, bye. Let's go, gets big, and Grayson's just against the wall now, like, <laughs> I really should have brought that bed up. Gorgomon starts posing with his Divi jeans. Like he's Please, a well. Please stop so, being against me. <laughs> uh, I would say, Gary, please make sure to mark down who has the X cards on them. Yikes. I can because I will forget. <laughs> that is fair. Be sure to How many of those do you have? Uh, a he's, lot. He's got 52. He's got a full deck. Mm-hmm. Do you want to put one on, like, the bottom of Eeyore's boot? Do you want to <laughs> deliver a flying kick? Hell yes. Sure, you got it. Very well, make sure to You're keep track of You're completely gonna forget it's on your boot, aren't you? Oh, absolutely, that's Eeyore style. <laughs> so, that's what's funny about it. Exactly. It's either coming off or he's coming with! With that, everyone is prepared and ready to make their way into the door. Who's, uh, Gary, you're swiping the key card? I'm swiping the key card. Very well. You go ahead and swipe the card. And with a beeping noise, the gears begin to whir around the door and the various parts begin to unravel until there is a set of stairs that lead further down, even in the underground. Down, and... down, down, heading. Grayson Whoa. starts, like, muttering to himself oh, yeah, nervously. Walk down the steps until eventually there's another set of double doors that slide open with ease as you walk in, almost motion activated. And you find yourselves in a brand new location. Ooh! With various different panels on the walls, various doors leading to other areas, and no real movement or sound other than the whirring of machines and your own footsteps. Why does this place feel colder than my mom's office? And oh, as man, you this make must your be way the room. into this 
new underground facility looking for answers. We're going to go ahead and call session there. We, don't need oh, one more yeah. we, we can go for another hour, hour and a half. I'm dying in my room. Shut up. <laughs> no, another two hours. 16 hours of gameplay. Bare minimum. I'll play on my phone at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm going to be outside. <laughs> the right. breeze outside is better than my room. <laughs> like, Grim just slowly taking off everything. It's like, I'm dying. I saw towards the end in chat a bunch of people going, Stop trying to get killed. I swear to gosh, in this situation, I'm actually not. <laughs> well, I get you. Like, normally I'd be totally cool with this, like, uh, but yeah, like, Pugly and models, like, this I can teleport. Don't know if that's going to work out for you. If, it's just like right it's bait, it's just you're... really funny to watch like the guy with glass bones and paper skin be like I'll throw myself into danger when like we have 13 panzer tanks like all right there. <laughs> it's like, like we can have someone else be the distraction, my man. Yeah, we can we can <laughs> afford to do that. Well, if but... it's okay, if it's me and a Goonimon, it's like hot potato. No, just no, I, like, I, I get the mindset. Yeah. I, I, we get the mindset. It's just more of a thing of like, he's more like, I don't know if he would prioritize you slippery. or the guy that, or us who may be in like, oh, these guys will discover the secrets. I'll kill them first and then go after that guy. Also, like, but, just saying, this is out of character. Uh, just saying, you don't want to be alone with a Digimon against Aizmon. If Aizmon can, like, mind control a Goonimon and make him murder you, there's oh, no God. one to be there for backup. But like, don't go in alone. <laughs> but listen, listen. <laughs> think of the angst that Goonimon will have when he has Riot's blood on his hands. The character development... Uh, so, Pyle, so very sorry for your uh, character, but your next one will be very cool. But... <laughs> <laughs> I think I that I say it's been me, proven that a Goonimon's will is stronger than any mind control. Uh, well, he begins beating you with an in <laughs> He begins beating you within an inch of your life, and I have bad news. He's not done yet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh man. At any rate, we got a bunch of donations we got that I want to read off before we sign uh, yeah. up. Okay. Tofu donated five hundred dollars. Oh. Hey! Fuck you, players. More to the DM. <laughs> DM, this is a bribe. Take away their adversity. Take uh, away their points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First one we got is from Noir, who donated $5, hey. saying, if our Digi uh, for Digidestined instead we're playing SAO, what weapons do you think they would use? For Sammy, I want uh, my fellow Noir to be safe. If not available, uh, then Van. Uh, from Noir, not the sister. I wish I, I, wish I went with Ciel or Blanc. Uh, so that's, that would be a point of adversity to Sammy. For Sammy, yeah. yeah. And I can actually take spot? it. Hey, hell yeah. For yes, now. you can. For one... From there, we have, uh, Cole McCarthy, who donated $10, saying, I love that even perturbed and in vague yet imminent danger by the reveal of their arch, ne arch nemesis, the Digidestin can still find time to gamble. It's life's little pleasures that really get you through the tough spots. <laughs> Two to whoever needs it, then the van. I'm empty. <laughs> All right. Sounds like oh. two to you, then. Also, do we want to answer their, their question at the yeah, end? Yeah, like SAO? Uh, that's fair. I, I, I feel like everyone just uses swords in SAO, other than in I, the game where it's not SAO. Alfheim? Yeah, well, yeah. and then the it other game so. that it's not SAO? I feel as though I mean, like, ER would use a giant now. Saying. Like, in example, I feel like Riot would probably be a Claymore. Which is Fair. funny, because I think ER in that situation would be like a mall. Wow. <laughs> Playing Sword Art Online with a hammer. That's how it's yeah, done. Yes. Yeah. I would prefer swords. I love swords. That, like, I actually took fencing when I was younger. But <laughs> Grayson is very much more archer built. That's fair. That's fair. Fair enough. Gary's probably dual wield daggers. That works. What would Reiner have? <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> a could it a be a gravel like 
the mithril pebble of pig smiting, exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's just a shield. And he protects Sammy with it. Aww. He's a shield hero. Yes. I mean, my fist can do all the protecting. What do you mean? Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sammy has a tactical nuke. We don't know how she got it. Wait, we're unsure. We, we don't <laughs> the grenade scene from Anchorman. Oh my god. Where'd you get that trident? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. What'd you oh get? my god. Hey. Brick, what is, Brick, what is that? It's a gun from the future. <laughs> Where did you get it? <laughs> the future. <laughs> hey, no fair. He's got a gun for the future. <laughs> that was the best part of Anchorman 2. It's very good. Uh, what else do we go. got, James? Uh, okay. From there, we have Autumn Woodham, who donated $5 and said, You know, we haven't seen our old friend Strykdramon in a while. Maybe we should maybe we should intro Black Agumon to him alone in a dark alley where no one can see him or notice him missing. Virus type. We still haven't found him. You willikers, guys. This time. Uh, would, I, from... would, it, would it make any difference if I said he was closer than you think? Oh, He's, in the walls. <laughs> He's in the walls. The real strike Dramons were the friends we made along the way and slash or were inside us all along. Wait a minute. What's this other thing that Wendigomon put inside Solomon's car? Oh my god! It's Black Agumon. Black it's Agumon. His... It's Black Agumon, Agumon and Strike Dramon in a dark alley where no one can see him or notice him missing. <laughs> yep. <It's laughs> uh, perfect. So I would say that's a point to ER? Yes, yeah, 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 I would agree to that. Okay. From there, uh, another five dollars from Mr. Music J two one six, who says point to ER. Uh, I was hoping uh, that Monodramon, after defeating Black Agumon, would be screaming, "Get wrecked, Scrub! Your dog water, get good!" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's time to beat him up again. There is. We can always beat him up a second time and then tell him that he's dog water slash Salamon water. Uh, and after that, we have, uh, Wolfie the Rabbit Queen, who donated $5, saying, Congrats, Terry Mon. Token is for you and Grayson. See you later. Yeah! Ooh. Heck yeah! Uh, next Great one... Coming progressively less cowardly. Yeah, look at him go. He's doing it. Get on it. He's doing Standing it, Standing at the monsters. <laughs> doing, doing it. it. I'm thinking. Ah! <laughs> no, he thinks a lot. It's more this time he's, like, acting and, like, acting off feeling instead of fear. There we go. What you just described was ER. So I'm thinking, ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one we have is from Autumn Woodham, who donated $10, saying, Terriermon versus Ponchasmon is some Tom and Jerry slapstick. Uh, <laughs> they then <laughs> they then said, uh, these points go to whoever wins in Agunimon versus Sistermon, but then donated after that, saying, disregard my previous donations. Slip my mind that Agunimon and Sister were not next. Um... So that's fifteen dollars that they donated, I including always... a correction and no particular direction in which it went. So I would say, probably Split. one to like one to each of the three that were mentioned of Agumon, yeah. Sistermon, uh, Terriermon. So they're correct. tamers on those. Yeah, sure. No Monodramon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Everybody hates Monodramon. No. Everybody's working for not Monodramon. Everybody <laughs> wants to see Strike Jamon again. I'll, Don't I'll be honest. Every, everyone wants Duomon. I get it. Duo Jamon. Yeah, I get it. I'll be honest. I, I, I am, I, seeing the amount of like incredible rolls from Mono Jamon, I'm scared for when you actually digivolve into Strike Jamon because I'm just going to be like, great, my game is broken. <laughs> Everybody's terrified for that. <laughs> I'll mm -hmm. just be like, hey, cool, we have Shrike Jermon in the... What do you mean he's rolling and exploding every I... time? What do you mean this encounter was dog water? I'm just enjoying playing this game in hard mode. I'm just... <laughs> How does he have a D30? <laughs> that that shouldn't be again. possible. Gloom's out here with, like, in Gen 1 Pokemon with, like, He's just grabbing Charmander, who only has Scratch going He's up against... Lovely. The, oh, You're, not You're, not You're not evolving. You're not evolving. Just, like, not choosing, like, the the Bulbasaur Squirtle that would make quick walk of the first two gems. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. just, he's got, he's got an Everstone one. on his pocket. I'm gonna just going to my baby Pokemon. <laughs> In comes Charmander with an Everstone! Uh, you know that one... Like, I don't know if it's a video or what it was, but it's just somehow a Rattatat beats a freaking like, top tier at 1 HP. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, it's holding, it's holding Focus Sash, and it uses Endeavor, which reduces the opponent to the same number of hit points that it has, which is one. And then it uses Quick Attack, which is priority. Yep. That's uh, <laughs> I'll say this, because everyone seems to be, like, want to see Striker Jermon. It's going to happen at one point. So, yeah, I mean, it's a don't guy. think... He's don't, 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 something up. Don't take my word of being like, man, he, he just wants to be Mono Jermon. Like, yeah, he's fun, but, like, you know... We we'll get but that digi still thing again. I thought I was gonna have to and then lose the competition. So, yeah. But also, it's like um, yeah. the story. Like we, we want to see him again too, but we also it's like, oh, but it's gotta be the right time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. His is getting the most the right time. amazing moment oh, whenever he does turn true. back. That time <laughs> being when an Strike enemy him? appears that inflicts everyone on the team with the virus status. <laughs> oh it's my. very much that one thing of like, oh man, I love when this power up. Hit this character and they get super powerful, but I dread it happening. Mm -hmm. What will happen to the board? It'll be great. <laughs> uh, I hope Itmon <laughs> isn't around. <laughs> it just does spawn. Indeed. <laughs> it's, it's, don't do don't, don't don't do it for, for many different reasons. Don't do it. Tramon is is that uh, is that TikTok of like he was the best guy around. What about what all about the, murders? the murders? What murder? <laughs> That's really funny because only a quarter of us has actually seen it in action. It's great. Uh, let's get through the rest of the donations yeah. here. We have five dollars from Fierce D Link who says. I want to see Riot Greymon come into play one day. Maybe upgrade the suit with Chrome Digizoid. Also, thanks, uh, thanks for the Bomb Rush Cyberpunk game, Grim. I'm loving it and really good at it. Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta I do multi. Video no, game. <laughs> there's a mod now for multiplayer, but yeah, I'm in that game. Go play it. It's, it's true. The music's amazing. It's if you liked uh, Jet Set Radio, Radio too, you'll like yep. that. Mm hmm It's a good time. You so get to beat it. up all the cops, which I voice, and then demon as a devil theory. I haven't gotten that far in the game yet, but mm -hmm. they're at the <laughs> way later part, so. Uh -oh. Heck yeah. It's a good time. <laughs> uh, next up right. is $1. Uh, dollar. Uh, oh, sorry. Go for it. But that mentions right, Green Was that a token to Pyro? I assume Rats. so. Okay. okay. I assume so. Congrats. Uh, from there, uh, they some uh, Fierce DD Link donated $1 just for the pepper. Saying Grayson and Sammy, the digital detective agency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Look at them go. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them do it. Uh, from there, Botluck Productions donated ten dollars, saying, "Like a chi, you put up a great fight." Uh, uh, was this? Panty Anarchy would be proud. War aid for you. It's not much, but it's something. I assume it's that's a, a reference oh, someone knows. Yeah, it's from Panty and Stalking. Okay. Penny stalking and Good. Yeah, they have two yeah, guns. Easy. Makes sense. Yes. Well, sometimes she has two guns, depending. You know what? The show's weird. It's very weird. It's, it's true. getting a second it, it, season. It's, it's, true. <laughs> it's the show Adult Swim wishes it could air. Uh, <laughs> last donation, then I want to mention a thing about Penny and Stalking. Uh, $5 from Autumn Woodham. who said to Salomon, who I legit thought was going to have their holy ring snapped by Wendigomon. Oh, fuck the same, actually. Same. I thought that was. I thought mm -hmm. that was about to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I thought we were going oh, no. get an O2 Gatomon situation here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, but we yeah. Have a sale. <laughs> Just the thing that I thought was really funny. In uh, we were at Anime Expo for the Studio Trigger panel, and uh, the director of Panty and Stocking talked about how convenient it was that anime censorship makes all the blood look like thick white fluid. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> and they were like, "I can't wait to incorporate." Into Panty and Stocking season two. It's <laughs> very silly. Patty's oh, gonna be good. very happy with that since the ship. Oh boy, God, <laughs> what a time! And with that, that is all the donations. Wahoo! Woo. Wahoo! Thank you so, so much, thank everyone. Thank you all so much. Thanks, guys. Of you course, guys are we... absolutely crazy. We appreciate True. all of you so much for all of the support that we get. Proven True. factual. So, with that said. Uh, <laughs> To let you guys know for uh, future events on things, uh, we will not be having Digi Destiny next week. Our our regular our regular show. So session seventeen will not be next week, unfortunately. Ah, uh, fooey. Instead uh, of Digi Destiny, instead. we will be having Digi Destiny. Instead, <laughs> uh, we will be having the Where Sammy One Shot next week. So Woo! look forward to that. 
and look forward to me panicking as I have to write an entire one shot or the remainders of an entire one shot within the span of a week. I mean, just don't I most of it right there. I now have to get further details and actually do that. <laughs> Wish me luck, everyone. You got it. You can do it. We all believe in you. I'll you need it. it. Gambate. You can do. <laughs> Combat. You can do. Combat. Rumba son. Uh, but with that said, I think that just wraps us up. So again, thank you all so much for watching and supporting us. And mm -hmm. we will see you next week for... Hey, guys. T where was Sammy for 10 days while everyone else was having the time of their lives bonding with their partners? Let's Good find question. out. I don't know. I'm not going to be there. I'm just, I don't know why. I'm just imagining that Zoe just intentionally tries to fuck with you and is like, I want to sleep for 11 days. <laughs> <laughs> Which means it'll be hilarious when it's like, oh, this dog is now my best friend. We, They cuddled up with me when I woke up during one of those days and I trusted immensely immediately. Everyone's Sammy, like, Sammy, just... what happened? And it's like, I Zenitsu'd all the way here. <laughs> She's Sam, like, you even changed. I don't know. <laughs> You're acting like an actual child. <laughs> Sammy breathing, first floor. People of creations, <laughs> holy shit. God dang it. The Flash. God. She uh, just has, like, the monkey kill showering gun for <laughs> fuck all reason. Exactly. But yes, for Don't now... Don't you have to kill someone to get the monkey kill? <laughs> yeah, uh, she yeah, was yeah, asleep. Yeah. She doesn't know. Yeah. The blood's oh, not in her hands. Yeah. No, 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 no. You have to watch someone die. Well, and that's the mean... I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, that's true, isn't it? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> so, it's the entire time you've had a Matarazu and uh, maybe Sukui. One of those things. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mention that. Yeah. yeah so I, I, I wanted to hold back my power because it clearly would have been way too easy. <laughs> that no, moment no, when you... the player forgets something critical in their backstory. Oh, wait. <laughs> I fucking have had that with one of my players forgetting I gave them, like, this really cool, super powerful item. They did. They never used the whole campaign. Yeah, no. Nick can't relate to that at all. Unrelated, thanks for the plus three charm chip that <laughs> happened earlier. Also, one last just dropped. Uh, oh, Terminator yeah. 07, $5. Here's five rocks to Reiner. If not, yeah, yeah, yeah. then five it rocks. was in vain. Oh, I mean, vain. Best of luck against Hi <laughs> Andromon, whoever needs it. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Woo. Appreciate nice. you. That's one to Reiner. <laughs> yeah, uh, none sadly though. <laughs> oh no, like, are you full? I, yeah, and it was in van. <laughs> I mean, done in vain. nothing. <laughs> well, well, who would you like to give it to instead of the van? Because <laughs> you can give uh, it to the van. Does or ER have enough? Uh, EO is, EO is pretty good if you want to give it to Sammy. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's really good this time. I didn't even run off for nothing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did, I'll... but you know, for, for the right I reasons. Didn't <laughs> to go to Zell. <laughs> okay, if that's going to count, we need to like set some. <laughs> I, I said for the good reasons, okay? That's for the good reasons. <laughs> We gotta set some ground rules here. Alright, you get it. You get it. Thank you. You, you owe me double interest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Teaching yep, me the hard that, lessons, are we? That, that's yeah. simply in a nutshell right there. I double saved it, your life. You better save my life twice. <laughs> but yes, again, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next week for... Where's Sammy? Where, oh. where is she? Where's where Sammy? Guys? Bye. 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 Sammy. Where? <laughs>